Muting now. Hello, uh, uh, whoops. hello everyone. Uh, How y'all uh, doing? Hi. Hey. Whoa. I I uh, undeafened and apparently it did not unmute me, so that was pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, all right, let's uh, switch over. Everything's looking good here. Yes, very very good. Uh, Joe, what? Did, while I'm setting things up, what did you think of the uh, the one D and D presentation? I knew you, I were, like the, you were watching yeah. that. Yeah. I liked the presentation quite a bit. Have you read the document afterwards? I did. I did. There were some interesting... peculiar changes. There were some, there were some interesting changes. I, I like... I honestly... The only complaint I had was the, 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 the lucky change. I was that where I was just like, they were like, did you, did you like lucky? And I was like, no. It's like, all right, well, we made it so now it's equal to your proficiency bonus. So I was like, ah, two to six times. Okay, cool. The, luck, uh, the, the good thing about lucky though, is it's that, advantage now. You don't have to keep re-rolling the same yeah. 20, right? Yeah, that's, that's um, where I'm at as well. I don't know, some of it, some of it's peculiar. Like spellcast mm. is not critting and stuff is a bit odd. That makes me sad. Spell, oh, not critting? Yeah, I uh, I don't think the crit's gonna stick. Cause I- uh, No, nah, that's e gonna go. Even, even, during the, uh, even during the presentation, uh, like I just, I was watching as Jeremy and, and I don't know the other individual's name, unfortunately. We're both just like, oh, it was just something we wanted to try. Just something we're trying. We're, we're yeah, early. Yeah, you yeah. can just tell they were already getting ready for- mm, You're gonna take away crits from the RNG game. Let's see how all the spellcast remains feel about that. Oh man. <laughs> and that's and that's where I just started kind of cracking up a little bit. Uh, me personally, I'm just like, I, I understand why. I understand why they're doing it to try and and, and also, they, they took it away from uh, monsters as well because of recharge abilities. Monsters yeah. can't crit either. So I was like, oh, okay. I think, I personally think there should be alternative crits instead of, you know, double damage crits. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like a crit that pushes someone and all that kind of stuff's fine. Yeah. Because yeah, my big fear was was monsters killing people at low levels. Mm -hmm. and it's like, okay, then just make different crits for low levels and then after that, yeah, it's, it's, it's scary. Like it's fun. Worried. It's like Wizards of the Coast is worried about their their monsters not being buff enough, but also <laughs> nerfing them at the same time, and then right. also buffing martial classes because they're like the fighters aren't doing enough damage because the spellcasters get disintegrate. Meanwhile, when, when most campaigns end at level twelve before they even get disintegrate. What's What's really honestly funny about that, and and then we can we can start the game because I uh, <laughs> I know I was I was. Just Jumping up and down, I was like, oh, oh, "New update, new update." Um, but um, what really cracked me up is like, well, spellcasters can't crit because they're already so crazy, but mo these martial classes can mm. crit with their weapons. I was like, "Isn't the top three damage dealers of D and D currently barbarian, rogue, and paladin?" Oh, yeah. all martial classes, huh? That's strange. So <laughs> like, it's consistent damage. Yeah. I I get what they thought about with it, and it's definitely because spellcasters get some nutty output damage spells right. later in the game. But also, like if it's, you look at the D and D statistics, down. yeah. If you look at D and D statistics, like most campaigns don't end up going past level twelve to fourteen, right? So they don't even get the chance to get things like power word kill or there, shit like there that. There will be a huge outcry of people saying, bring back crits. I, I Like I said, yeah. I understand what they're trying to do. They're trying to keep the number range down. So we're not look so, you know, it's four to 40, not eight to 80, you know, when it comes to like, just like basic shit like firebolt or even disintegration. But um, I, I don't think this will stick. Um, I do think alternative, um, Crits would be a really good way to go to kind of keep that in control. Mm -hmm. um, I, I like the unarmed strike changes. I don't know if you got to that point yet where you can yeah. do different things with unarmed strike. I thought that was fun. That was fun. Change how they're changing grapple. Grapples become really Grapple's powerful. Grapple's so much better. Yeah, it's yeah. really cool. I Finally. like that. Yeah, absolutely. Because I was like, holy shit, grapple kind of just sucks. <laughs> like even when you read well, through grapple and you're like, your speed's zero feet. I'm like, what else? And they're like, Shrugs, uh, you can move grapple, people. <laughs> grapple can be really, really obscenely strong if your yeah. character builds a grappling thing. Yeah. But it only really does one thing. Like like Sam's character for me does like, all he does is grapple. 
but it's like near impossible to break his grapple. So I just have to go, okay, I guess the monster just keeps beating the shit out of Sam. Yep. Now it feels a bit more like, yeah, it's a condition. Which is it's cool. a it's a condition, you know. Uh, you can, they uh, grapple's a little bit more powerful as well. I like the slowed condition they they yeah, introduced. Yeah, that's fun. That's gonna be nice. a lot of fun. What conditions um, is cool? Oh yeah, it's uh, I uh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for new shit. I like the uh, how they changed the character builds so that it's now uh, it's all pretty much backgrounds uh, and they kind of fleshed fleshed out backgrounds because I felt like backgrounds were so wishy-washy before and now it just feels like they're going all in on like backgrounds being vital and important I like uh, that they're they're returning back to the age of feats again it's no longer an option it's now completely a part of the whole thing mm. and yeah I uh, I like that personally because I think the feats are going to be a, a lot more fun I like how the new feats are looking yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, I'm excited about the new edition, and I'm, I'm excited to do some things. Uh, we are going to... Um, I may be implementing some things uh, as time goes on. Uh, I'm not implementing the crit thing, because I know that's not going to be a, a crowd pleaser, uh, unless there's something more exciting about the, uh, <clears throat> about the critical hits. Um, mm -hmm. But I definitely am going to be doing the inspiration song d20 rolls like on rolling a 20 and giving someone an inspiration i think that's gonna be really cool for that really just i feel enhances like the party dynamic turning it into a star moment into a party a party victory which i'm i've always been all about so <clears throat> yeah i have to apologize i have a bit of a a, a, a sore shredded throat it could be from illness uh it could be because i've been talking for the past i heard days. you were growling like a monster and it was really good is that why who's who told you that and yes that's people be telling me people be telling me what you're up to monster ground man <laughs> <Did> someone... <laughs> i just imagine me? i just imagine someone random just message messaging jesse and just being like <laughs> yeah so he like growled during curious curious and jesse's just like why did why is my I heard okay? it was a great growl, and well, that's why I remembered it. Email account. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yes, I believe that may have also contributed to the shredding of my voice. Well, that's a problem. I was good with one monster roar, but when I did the second one, I was like, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. That that's was it. A... You get the one. You just got to give them the one. That's it. Yeah, just one. That's all I needed. And then I followed up, and I was like, no, no, no. I should have been like, insert the same thing. But again, I should do that bit that uh, Joe does where he just records you and then replays it. But uh, he hasn't done that in a while, but he's that in a while. But there it is. There it is. I caught you. I caught you right there. I was waiting. I was like, here it is. Here it is. Dude, I, I didn't know what you were going to say. And then when you said it, I was like, oh, where's my button? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking panicked at It's grown dust, the button. I haven't done it in ages. Your I button's don't. dusty, Joe. I opened the button's I opened, dusty. I opened uh I opened the door. It's fine. It's all good. <laughs> the all right. Fine. Oh, shut up. Okay. That wasn't even me. Who did that one? That Who wasn't did me. Wait, which one of you did the door? Which, it's the door. It's the there, door. It's there's fine. Summer. Great. You gave the chaos all of it. You aren't the only one with the Go XLR, <laughs> you son friend. of a bitch. I do you need to get it. I do want to get a new um audio interface. I just don't know what to get. And every time I hear Go XLR, everyone's like, yeah, it's kind of constantly. Oh, I hear it breaks constantly. I hear it's overrated. So I'm probably not going to get that. Definitely so. overpriced what it is. Yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. It's It got hit hard for some reason. Like, it used to be, like, 120 bucks, And then it's just, like, in the last, like, two years, it's just, like, 500 600 800 And I'm well, like, <laughs> well, every, every a lot of electronics. A lot of electronics have skyrocketed over yeah, the past couple of years. Bucks. Yeah, a lot of, uh, well, A, a lot of streamers bought it. Yeah, B, the uh, the chip shortage. And, yeah, yeah that makes uh that I makes got sense. mine on sale before it got spiked, and I was like, oh, okay, let's hope it lasts. Fuck yeah. I, so, I bought mine at launch, and it, it was, like, 400 so um oh god snake no <laughs> no snake no um if i'm a bit low energy or if i'm a bit quiet at times that's why so i will uh persevere and and, and push through so we can do this uh this session <clears throat> uh so we last left off because it's been let's just let's dive in i know dodger's gonna be a bit late um but dad okay um she'll she'll be here when she when she gets here 
the, the life of a, of a mother's never done. Uh, so, last we left off, you guys were uh, essentially doing some back and forth of planning and trying to figure out what the next step was. Uh, a couple of interesting uh, developments. Uh, Karis seemed to have transformed into a completely different person and then came back to Karis. And now the question is, what the heck is going on with Karis over on that end? Uh, and yeah, just Hey, gang, you can trust me. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. And then just a lot of just... I believe you. <laughs> Thank you. At least someone does. Listen, if you got a brain friend, we can talk about our brain friends together. We can <laughs> we can bond over this. I would wow. love it. I would love it. Amazing. If Pella, I would love it if Felibor just immediately was like, I can relate to this. I like what's Alternatively, this? you can Suddenly join on besties. Plan B. You can mm -hmm. join on Plan B, which is the eventual separation of consciousnesses and replacing into other bodies. But you know, if that's not your thing, then we can work with Plan A too. <laughs> it's like whatever you want. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put the little gremlin aside over here. God, it's so tiny. Look at this little freaking gremlin, dude. Um, so a lot, a lot of talking back and forth and discussing what it, what exactly was gonna happen. Um, the original plan of you guys leaving Jotun so that way you can head on over to uh, Clayberry of Kathos, uh, where a lot of the Ganymedian activity is currently going on. Uh, also, big old bounty out on Logan. 10,000 credits alive, 5,000 credits dead, and I think there was some back and forth discu discussion of uh, what to do about that as well. Um, however, you did receive a phone call from the wolf stating that there was some potential information of where this, um, where the, where there was some uh, chi... Uh, evidence uh, of, of, of chi, essentially, which means uh, potential uh, interaction with a chi weapon. Uh, Pinchy has also informed you uh, that there are indeed two weapons uh, instead of one weapon, which could also be a little bit problematic. So you're going to, a little later on, uh, head over to the north and investigate uh, the, the chi evidence to see what's going on there, potentially discover one or both of the weapons. Um, but I believe you guys were gonna do a little bit of downtime uh, over here in this location, over here at the ruins of the Lamento base. Uh, Cause I believe there were some projects that Eli wanted to do. Uh, two projects, uh, I think two, maybe three. No, you had three projects if I recall correctly. One of them is building the steel defender, actually having the steel defender at this point. Uh, two is providing an upgrade uh, using the doo -doo -doo, checking your inventory. Uh, you did yes, the, you got the EX three CU Great Axe, which I think you wanted to take apart and apply to the Steel Defender or to Maggie Eli. Steel Defender. The Steel Defender. Okay, uh, which would be really good. And then third is to apply um, the quality of the great shield or rather uh, apply the weaponized traits of dash's uh tower shield picture's tower shield over to the ex3 cu great shield because currently you guys are uh or rather dash is wielding a uh, a prot like sort of like a prot shield with scratched out xdf on it and that probably wouldn't be a good look especially when you're on the run and wanted so you were looking to combine the two together into a complete different great shield. I believe those were the three projects you were interested in working on. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, in the meanwhile, uh, Hellebore, uh, you are free to look for materials or gather materials or purchase materials to buy potions, which I think you discussed a little bit about potentially going into a little bit of alchemy during this downtime. Uh, yes. Does that make sense? Does that sound yep. about right? Yep, um, yep, yep. Uh, I'm sorry, did someone ask, was someone asking a question? Okay, cool. I just thought I heard something. Anyways, <clears throat> um, the rest of you, if any of you have an interest in crafting or artisan tools, you're free to uh, explore and, and, and look around for that, whether some of you are interested in weapon crafting, armor crafting, potion making. Um, again, optional, not a requirement. If that's something your character would not do, then you got nothing to worry about. For now, though, um, those three projects are going to take three days, assuming that you're successful on each project. Eli. So are you guys okay with uh, with three days of, of downtime at least? Or if there, is there anything that you guys are going to be doing? Um, 
uh, during those three days of downtime while Eli works on these projects. I don't know if there's anything in particular you guys want to do. Uh, just keep in mind that the the wanted level, kind of like that GTA style wanted level, uh, currently still a little bit low. Obviously, there's discussion uh, of a uh, re renegade prot, um, although locations have not been given. Um, as time will pass on, more information will continue to spread, uh, and you will become your notoriety uh, may continue to increase if the uh, if. If society, if the populace uh, takes on to that. So, <clears throat> um, so I guess we'll first start with Eli. We'll kind of do like this is on a nice little day one thing. Um, but I think that covered everything from our recap. Was there anything else you guys wanted to add? Um, I don't think there's really much else we can do in those three days, right? Uh... Yeah, not really. Okay. Other than there's, like... no. Crafting so, and stuff. It's a little bit. We haven't down. really gone into the crafting, have we? Like we, like we've, the only crafting we've really unlocked at the moment is like alchemy and tinkering, right? Like there was the, was it I law mean, crafting of some kind? Does that one exist? I is is, is there any what crafting? What was, what was that? Yes, there is scribing. Yep, scribing hey. tools allows you to make, uh, allows you to produce scrolls, uh, magical tattoos, um, and later on a deck of adventure where you can actually build your own custom bonus action deck. To deploy like magical uh, effects of Ooh. cards, so so would that? <sighs> yeah, you couldn't really just start that now, though, could you? We'd have to get into like some form of learning it. Uh, you, if you would like to say in your history that you have always been a bit of a writer, uh, each of you have proficiency with one one uh, crafting tool. So, I would do that one. I was say it sounds it sounds like you may be fun. interested in that. Yeah, that sounds uh, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, let me go ahead and bust up and open the uh, the notes page, and we'll do a little we'll do a little downtime activity while we're waiting for uh, while we're waiting for dudes. I just had the image in my brain of Brewmaster Karis now. Uh, <laughs> I, can't, I can't let it go. Uh, yeah, and uh, yes. Yeah, I almost I actually almost went for that just out of irony because that would have been funny. <laughs> Uh, yes, you can. You can absolutely make uh, magical beers if you're uh, proficient in uh, the brewer's tool. So, uh, let me pull up the journal. See exactly. Brew Mr. Logan, but instead of alcohol, it's just all coffee. Different types it's of coffee. Yeah, absolutely. Barista Logan. If I got if I got three days, I'm gonna make some coffee. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, he's I, a brewmaster. I, I'm, I'm just like, I'm just like, magical coffee? You're like, no, 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 just coffee. Like, I'm gonna make a cup of, cup of joe, I'm gonna drink it, and then tomorrow, I'm gonna do the same thing. I uh, mean, all the coffee I make is magical. Mm. You should oh see my, what I do to those beans. Oh my gosh, is that Dodger? Hello. It's me, hello, hi. Hello. We're Ooh. still, we're... <laughs> That was mean, really rude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah it was. Uh, as a friendly reminder, uh, some of you guys got <laughs> no money, and that's hilarious. Zero uh, credits. Zero credits. Cry. Zero sources of wealth. Let's go. I'm gonna move this over here. Just trying to. There it is, and then kind of shrink this over here too. Okay, awesome. Oh, my credits are nice. Your credits are indeed nice. Uh, you do have uh, access to credits within your accounts, but as we have, as we have recapped before, uh, unfortunately, uh, it will, it does risk uh, revealing you and where you are you are at. So um, let's start real simple and really basic, and then we'll kind of start going around the table with some of you guys and the crafting that you're doing during your downtime. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up a document. Does my brain do be soft, and why would I remember everything that I've written down? Ha ha! Let's see. Okay. Uh, so first, uh, first off, uh, Eli, what project would you want to start with first? The Steel Defender requires no check of any kind, since that is part of your class. It's just going to take up your project slot for the day to make yourself a little, uh, little boozer. Yeah, I'll get that out of the way. Okay. Allow me to... Now, here's the thing. You can only issue commands uh, to, as a bonus action, to the Steel Defender or Maggie. Is it safe to assume that uh, Maggie is primarily going to be Dash's responsibility? Uh, that, that depends. We can share custody. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, absolutely, you can share. Capacity. I mean, yeah. I I'm down to uh, always do whatever with Maggie on my turn, so you can do your steel defender stuff. Uh, one moment, please. I need to get a graphic. Um, also, if you ever have a, a decide to design a graphic for your Steel Defender, let me know, and I will be happy to, uh, replace your token. Oh, I'm gonna have to commission art. Mm. If, if, if you would like. Obviously, you don't have to. We do have placeholders, so. I have ideas. Okay. <laughs> I hope it's a really creepy doll. I really I, do. I just, it I is. don't, I would, yeah. I would. <laughs> yes. Oh, that, that's sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be a uh, quote unquote, a, like, it, it doesn't have to be like a dog look for the defender. So you can make it, yeah, you could make it and make it look for everyone. But for now, uh, here's, here, here's the boozer right over there. Woof, woof. Bark, bark. Your steel, your steel defender is there and will slowly, <clears throat> we'll slowly port over some things. Let me go here. Boop. Boop. And boop. All right. So you have control over the uh, the steel defender. That would be your, your day one project for here. Uh, as we go around, uh, the next thing I would look at is Dr. Hellebore. Taking, yeah. taking a look at your features really quick. All right, so um, I don't know what kind of alchemy you have gotten into or if we've actually done any alchemy with the new system. Uh, the idea of alchemy is you would create a base first, which essentially is a common potion, a potion mm -hmm. that has has common levels. So potions of healing or just bases that do absolutely nothing, you can create that. Uh, the benefit of creating a base that does nothing is that it's extremely cheap to create, unlike the potion of healing base. Uh, once you have some bases, uh, you can then start applying traits to those bases to make more powerful potions. So if you have a potion of healing as a base, uh, you can add the healing trait to that uh, if you know what you're doing with that um, to make it a 44 healing potion instead of the 2d4 that the default actually is. Um, currently in your inventory, you do have a potion. You have two potions of healing. Mm -hmm. uh, which you can use. Uh, and as far as your recipes go um, for potion making, taking a look real quick. Uh, I didn't drop it in the inventory, did I? Nope. Uh, you, your knowledge of alchemy will require uh, experimentation. What experimentation does, this is how you learn your recipes, by the way. Uh, you can have mm -hmm. someone teach it to you. You can get a recipe that instructs how to actually make it. Uh, or you can do the big gamba, uh, an experiment by throwing uh, a number of credits to the wind, making a check to see if you're successful. And then I get to roll on the table and that's the recipe that you learn. Uh, it also applies it to the base itself. And that's what the potion becomes. You learn how to do that. Uh, and the next time you make potions, you can choose from uh, recipes you've learned or you can continue to experiment. Uh, everything has a market cost price. So while experimentation is always gonna be a flat number, uh, certain traits may be more expensive as you go along since it's more of a, more of a fluke. So, <clears throat> Would you like to try? Because currently you have two healing potions. Uh, and when you do the random trait, you can apply it up to two potions. I think everybody's pretty good on healing potions. I think I made sure everybody has at least two. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm down to fuck around and find out. Down to fuck around and find out? Excellent. Uh, okay. So, uh, let me I'm check. Let's explode again. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Uh, we're gonna. Oh me no. We're gonna start with. Uh, <laughs> um, so it's going to cost you. Checking my documents real quick. Uh, ba, ba, ba. yeah, it's going to cost you fifty credits to experiment with potions. Um, are oh. you okay spending your fifty credits as part of your your in, uh, in your bag? Uh, can I ask a question first? Yes. Because there are different bases now, in my inventory, I have three uh, healing base herbs. What do we do with those now? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, herbs are material components, uh, meaning they are assigned a credit value, and you can use that in lieu of just a raw credit cost. 
So, for example, let me look at the uh, the herbs you got. So, your basic herbs that you have that you mm -hmm. have right there, uh, that you've gathered over time, um, that would actually uh, be a material component cost of fifty credits for alchemy. It doesn't add any uh, additional traits. Uh, so, for example, you might find an herb out there that applies an additional trait along with your crafting because it's a specialized material. Herbs are very basic, uh, and each herb uh, is worth fifty credits. So, okay, so, if you'd like, you can use one of the herbs as the experiment uh, material component. I would love to do this. Because right. I'm trying to save our money in case we need to bribe somebody whenever we go somewhere, because I think I'm the only person besides Dash and Eli, maybe, that has, like, a large amount of credits on them currently. So, I'm trying to save my, like, raw credits now. Hon honestly, that is, uh, that would, that is absolutely smart. So... I will use the the herbs instead. Okie dokie. Uh, go ahead and make, uh, we're gonna use one herb. Uh, keep in mind for using these material components, if you critically miss, uh, you will use up the herb in its entirety. Let's fucking go. So roll on the alchemy kit? Uh, correct. Let's go. The Sapphire Alchemy Kit. 11 is sufficient. Uh, you're working with an uncommon uh, experimentation. Uh, the minimum DC is quite literally... Oh, sorry. It's a... Uh, one moment. Actually, you're going to need to use... I I'm sorry. You actually need to use both herbs. You cool with that? Sure. It's, it's going to be 100 credits for the experimentation. Let's go. I'm sorry. It's okay. Let me take a quick look, and then I'll tell you the results of what happened. Let's see, crafting experiment to depends on the feet of the bird to improve. Okay, perfect. There it is. All right, you do succeed. DC 10. Sufficient. I'm going to go ahead and roll a D20 and let you know what you're going to get. 19. All right. That's funny. You... Uh, have a now would you you have uh, learned the long strider property uh, long strider property uh, when you drink this potion you gain 10 feet of movement speed for one hour uh, would you like to apply to one potion or both of your potions I will apply it to both alright I look directly at Car uh, Karis while I'm making this <laughs> speed Karis you're being stared at right now as he just sees Helipor is just mixing some shit right now. <laughs> Karis doesn't say anything. Uh, for one hour. There it is. All right. You've got the long strider uh, potions of healing. And then I'm just going to add really quick. Uh, alchemy recipe long strider. Okay. Uh, so that's your day there. Uh, finally, uh, Victor. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. All right. So uh, you can start with some scribing tools. Um, what kind of... So every, every crafting tool is linked to an ability score. Uh, what would you like your scribing tools to be linked to? Let's quick look at my ability scores. Mm -hmm. Um... What's high? Uh, is it just uh, like charisma? Yeah, I'll do charisma. You can do charisma? Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, calligraphy supplies. Can I manifest it through painting? Uh, oh, with painter supplies? Well, it, it, it can be calligraphy in that kind of sense, but like the yes. idea that he almost like paints. A scroll for him might be like a painted kind of pattern in a certain way. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. Cool. I'm just seeing what kind of color this is. Lots of documents. Do -do -do. Purple. So this is going to be an amethyst calligraphy supplies. Or charisma. All right. So I'm going to give you this. I'm going to go for details. Uh, we're gonna, you are now proficient, and then this is going to be a charisma-based ability. All right. So currently, um, the things that you can do... Uh, I'll go down here. 
Uh, if you'd like, you can create a scroll as a project. Uh, by the way, you can only do uh, one project a day. The good news is, as you guys are increased in level, you can do more projects per day. Um, currently, the only thing you can do is inscribe tattoos uh, onto people, if you'd like. Uh, you can spend a project creating a variety of magical tattoos to provide a boon to a oh, creature that's yeah. been inscribed upon. The material cost of the tattoos, 50% of the market price, same thing. We're going to experiment. Uh, to learn tattoos, you can either be taught by someone or experiment. Applying a tattoo takes one hour and requires the user to be attuned to the tattoo. So this is going to be a, uh, essentially a, a magical attunement. If you remove the attunement of the tattoo, the tattoo vanishes. Someone with calligraphy supplies, proficiencies can remove a tattoo from a willing creature. Uh, this takes up a project and requires a check. So... Um, currently, uh, Victor about to learn stick and poke. Let's go. Would you like to uh, create a magical tattoo on someone? You could also uh, do it on yourself. I will. I would offer it to. Well, he's a walking canvas, right? I'm going to offer it to Dash. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well do an experiment on someone that's not me, you know. So if it goes, gets someone messed that's up, used it's to fine. being experimented on, yes, you know, yeah, exactly. If as the player, track. this tracks. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you will need a hundred credits to experiment. I sit back down. <laughs> <laughs> zero lot, credits. Zero uh, credits. Zero credits. <laughs> hey, don't call me that. You might. Uh, you could always ask one of the party members to see if they can give you uh, some credits if you'd like. I glare straight, Hellebore. You owe me. What? You owe. Me. Okay, where are you going with this? I need money. Okay. Are to you going to say the magic words, princess? We had a transaction. Are you going to say the magic words, princess? We had a transaction. Give me the skull back then. Just say the magic words. Actually, I don't need the skull anymore. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I pull out of my bag, I kind of look at it. Yeah, I mean, you can have it back. <laughs> That's no refunds. <laughs> you didn't say that when the, when the transaction was made. This cat is assumed. Just say, just say please, motherfucker, and I'll give it to you. <clears throat> I just stare forward. I don't need to practice any... any magical transplants or any kind of uh, tattoo. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't tell if that was in or out of character, TBH. <laughs> Nor could I. <laughs> I. I look Victor directly in the eye. Listen, just know, it's here for you. You just gotta say the P word. Ex excuse me. Who are you referring excuse I, I, me to? I'm talking to the little one. But... Hi. Um, <clears throat> I was wondering, can I borrow some money? Please. No. <laughs> please. I owe him. No, I owe him. That's why he gets the please offer. I don't owe you shit. You got please. me in more shit. Please. No, you're just going to spend it on coffee. You'd be surprised what I spend my money on. Please. No. All right, suit yourself. All right, so that sounds like a day of not doing anything on that end. Uh, another day will pass on. Um, um, guys... I have a question. Yes. If everybody's yes! like, oh, oh God, sorry. If everybody's um, doing like profession stuff or like talking about doing profession stuff, can mm. I? Take a crack at some cooking. You absolutely can. You want to be the the chef of the party? Yeah. Okay. Then cooking is what you shall do. <laughs> Give me a second. Oh my God! You said that, and then my stomach was like, rawr, rawr. I was like, oh yeah, I haven't eaten since breakfast. Cool. Oh, you should do that. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that in two hours. <laughs> um. <laughs> What would you like your cooking utensils to be linked to? Like what's what's your ability score? Sorry, like what ability? What kind of ability score that determines the tool that you start with? Hmm. I mean. <laughs> mm 
like strength, I guess. Okay, perfect. Because uh, it's my best stat. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that would be for a cooking utensil, but uh, yeah. he's gonna oh. punch the shit out of the meat. Yeah, I'm just hey, you know. Right. Um, so these cooking, or sorry, these uh, crafting tools are enchanted uh, to link to the ability score. So if you want someone else to like try and cook something, you can. Uh, but then they'll have to use their strength modifier as uh, as well. Oh, that's pretty so, funny. Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> Paris is the only other person who can cook on this team. <laughs> that's sorry. I, that fucking got me. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Um, I guess this would be a uh, a citrine. Uh, citrine cookies utensils. So that'll be there for strength. All right. <clears throat> okay. Okay, okay. So cooking has a, a, a really cool benefit, uh, providing everyone uh, food for the next day so they have nothing to worry about. Um, but it also allows them uh, to gain a uh, buff for the day as well after you guys complete a long rest. A nice little well, well-fed well buff. Uh, what kind of well-fed buff it is depends on what you cook. Um, here's the thing, though. Uh, with all experimentation, it's going to cost you 100 credits. Just to experiment? Is yes. that, like, is the idea of that that I have to, like, buy ingredients? Yep buy ingredients and just kind of kind of fuck around a little bit you know um but the good news is you learn the recipe once you have completed your experimentation mm, can i go fishing uh you can you can absolutely can the, go can the go. credit cost go down yeah. if i'm working with fish that so i caught the, so the key thing is when you go out and spend credits is because you're buying the stuff um right but you can discover materials to use as like that cost component so literally you'll be like i found 50 credits worth of fish that i could use for cooking <laughs> so yes that's great abso that's absolutely something you can do so fantastic uh, so i will see what we got here you've got your fishing rod oh sorry it's jasper not citrine silly me uh so you can absolutely go fishing that's actually something you could do during your downtime you can fish a number of times equal to your proficiency bonus so uh jasper and you might be able to find something that'll cover those costs okay okie dokie smoky um, so you would just kind of like go out. Where would you, uh, where would you go fishing as you would leave uh, the ruins of the area? Yeah, that's the question. I can't see the map, so I'm not sure like what the options are, but yeah, is there it, any water near me? <laughs> um, there, there is. So you can, if you feel a little, feel a little risky, uh, you could head south to Jotun and go fishing right here over in the piers. Uh, if you go fishing by the sewage treatment, you're going to find some really Ugh. funky and interesting fish. Yeah, I know. It's pretty hilarious. Um, and, or you can head up north uh, to Prealore, which I will go ahead and show that now. Oh, not view. Activate. Woohoo! Uh, or you can go up to Prealore, where the fish is going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit fresher, uh, as you guys would be able to, or as you would be able to go over to Endwig's Landing, a uh, nice little quiet uh, fishing town with a small pier. Uh, with little uh, to recognize you. Uh, so would you like to go fishing in the city or fishing out in nature? Uh, how long would it take me to get to Endwigs? Uh, Endwigs, let me check here, it's about there. It'll, <laughs> uh, it would be about, I'd say on foot, about an hour's travel through the Balter Tunnel, through the Underlane, and then over to the north. Uh, if you go to the city, it would be a direct access there, but of course you will be in a populated area and take less yeah, time to get there. I, I, would, I think if we have three days to kill, I'd probably just take a day and go fishing. And just fucking go fishing? Yeah. Let's, let's fucking go then. All right. Uh, so I don't know if anyone else is going with you. Uh, anybody you... anybody want to come fishing? <laughs> <laughs> I love the am, fact I, that... am I allowed to leave? Mm. You need a babysitter escort. Right, Look, but I'm, am, am I I'm not to be seen. As long as you're with me, I'm going up north. It's probably not going to be as big of an issue. So. Oh my god, I can't wait to get out of here. 
<laughs> I've had to pee for an entire day. That one time I said I was going to pee, I didn't actually do that. <laughs> I haven't peed in four days. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so it's going to be, oh my God, just like the beginning. It's going to be just like the beginning. It's going to be Dash and Logan. Uh, Logan's gonna be going fishing, so let's go. Look at all these uh, convicts alone with Karis having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Doing I nice love thing. you, Karis. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, so uh, a lot of uh, a lot of fishing is going to be determined uh, upon the fates of the water to see if you're even able to snag anything. If the fish are even gonna be biting. Uh, so okay. I'm actually. Wait, is Lo Jesse is Logan fishing? Logan can fish if you, you like. I mean, of course, I'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> what? It doesn't mean I'm good at it, but I said it would help. He would absolutely not be good at it. Do but you... if you catch a lunker, uh, that does gain you a proficiency in fishing. So. Well, there you go. I'm, I'm going to hunt me down a lunker. A lunker. <laughs> I, can, uh, I can, can teach you some things if, if you, you can... haven't been before. Well, look who's the teacher now. Uh, I mean, can, all right. You can actually do that. You can uh, give proficiencies to uh, other people. It does take time. Um, and there is... I, there, yeah, yeah, I would like to help um, Logan go fishing with me. All right. One second. Dragging some equipment here. Boop, boop, boop. Adjusting this. This is gonna be a nice little fishing run. And then we're gonna go uh hmm. I'm just gonna this really doesn't matter either way. Okay. Uh so Logan, you're just gonna be doing a flat 1D20 roll uh when you go. When you do decide to when you do are able to fish. Uh, Can I give him advantage if I'm helping him? Uh, uh for this you cannot. Okay. It's, it's something he's going to have to do on his own because you're also fishing. Um, That's true. All right. Uh, so uh, we're going to go ahead and do a, a couple of a couple of checks here for this first day and see exactly what's uh, what's going on between the two of you. Uh, Dash, something snags onto the line. Uh, nice. Go ahead and uh, roll your uh, roll your fishing check to see if you're able to pull something. What is my fishing check? Oh, that's actually gonna be in your tools and your inventory. You have a uh, fishing rod with Jasper Bobber. Um, it's also, I went ahead and equipped it. Oh, so, nice. So if you go over to your inventory, you will actually see the fishing rod uh, in the upper left corner or wherever you have your hot bar. And uh, you just give it a click. And you caught a big one. So nice. Uh, fate has been kind to you and you caught yourself a, a, a real good chunker of fish. Uh, my most consistent good rolls have been when I fish. When you fucking fish. Every single time I've fished, I've gotten a really good fish. All right. You got yourself a Prealore trout. Just a very simple, uh, it's very simple fish. Uh, the Prealore trout is actually going to be worth uh, 50 credits uh, to cookies. Nice. So material component, 50 credits uh, to cooking. And hold on, I want to see if there's actually food. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just, we're gonna leave the icon alone. A Prealore trout. There it is. You got yourself a nice heavy one. Uh, let's nice. go ahead and check on on Logan. Do a little faint roll. Uh, Logan, <laughs> womp womp. Uh, so while you're pulling your fish in uh, over over that check. Uh, Logan uh, does not get anything. I don't. I don't think I understand this. Is oh it, no! Do it's, I twist. In a, do I shake uh, it? Um, here. Uh, hold on. Reel it in really quick. <laughs> like adjust something. Can we okay. take another crack at that or no? Uh, for that. For that. I mean, yeah. So you actually are going to get another crack uh, at that. Um, but for the we day, get the, two, right? Yep, two shots yep. at it. Yep. Well, okay. you get you get two attempts. You might catch two fish today. So. Right. So we're going to go for the next one. Next is uh, Dash. Uh, <laughs> Dash gets another bite on his. Uh, Hell yeah, I do. Uh, on his baby. fishing rod. Well, that hardly seems fair. You did nothing different than I did. 
14. Success. You catch an Arctic minnow. Nice. Uh, Look, it it's just, uh, it's a lot of patience. You have to stay still because the you want the bait to do all the work for you. I'm quite patient. I, I'm, I, I'm just you sitting fidget. here. I haven't done anything. No, it's, it's just you, you, you move around a lot. <laughs> well, but it, it's like in the water and it like, if I, if I shake it, it's just like a bug. And they're going to be like, oh, that's a bug. I'll eat that bug. And then it'll pop up and it'll try and then it'll snatch them. As he as he says that he find, he gets a, a catch on the line. See, <laughs> uh, go ahead and give reel me it in, reel it in. yeah, give me a one d twenty roll, Logan. Just flat one d twenty. Oh, he pulls Incredible. it in uh, easy. He just a <laughs> cheater. <laughs> and, Amazing. And oh, uh, it doesn't. Oh, it actually is a one d twenty. I thought it was a cheat. Let's go. <laughs> at you uh and you managed to catch a pre-allure trout just like pulls it in and yeah. has the biggest grin on it like the smuggest biggest happy grin but in a way is just proud of himself but is also kind of like you know see i knew what i was yeah. doing dash looks really <laughs> proud of you oh <laughs> what's what's dash's expression on his face Dash is just grinning at him. He like pats him on the back. He helps him like you know take it off of the line and uh, and make sure that they've got everything all like good to go. All right. Uh, uh, really quickly, really quickly. Yes. Really quickly. Hold on. Yes. All right. I need to see something. Okay. Um. <clears throat> yeah. He looks at you. Dash, and you can tell he's trying to say something nice, like a thank <laughs> you of some sort. And what comes out is, champ, everything I think about when I think of you is paying off big time, for reals. W sorry, what does that mean? I, what, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is... <laughs> <laughs> I like, I, I honestly like the idea that Logan is actually referencing this book in the game. Like, he's got a small, like, how to be yeah. inspiring to the people around you or some sort of motivational book uh, that he keeps, like, peeking in. Like, he, he just, like, tries to do it subtly, but does it so poorly. I'm, I'm just saying, your presence here should be taught in school. I'll say that again. <laughs> <laughs> it's what I rolled. <laughs> uh, thank you. I think. I mean, uh, I'm not good at this. Look, I mean, it has been a, a, a an experience I would like to enjoy again. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, you want to come with me next time? Perhaps I. Perhaps I would. All right. Yeah, we should go fishing again. All right. When I'm not on the run from the law, and he like gives you a wink. <laughs> just, I mean, just, does Dash have like the biggest smile when he's like, yeah, we can go fishing. <laughs> oh, totally. Yeah. Dash is like super excited about that. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. All right. So, you know, it's a curse session when Logan rolls well and is nice. <laughs> That's a wholesome session. What are you talking about? Summer likes it extra cursed. All right. As uh, as you all are tinkering and working about with your variety of projects during your downtime, uh, this would absolutely be uh, when uh, Dash and uh, Logan just walk in with all of these fish. Two pre trouts. got fish. Yeah, two pre trouts and an Arctic minnow. You currently have 125 credits worth of cooking material. Oh, hell yes. That's what Dash I'm talking about. Quite good at this. <laughs> Dash grins. Right. He caught a trout on his first day. It's amazing. I got a trout on my first day. <laughs> Very impressive. You're just, you're just watching as like Eli's tinkering with the new steel defender. <laughs> Whoa, did you? That looks amazing. 
Eli, you're in the midst of uh, working on that steel defender. Um, uh, snake Eli's said also, BRB. Yeah, snake, snake BRB'd. Uh, Eli looks over at you and just goes, hmm. Like nods. <laughs> <laughs> just great. Great, great. That's, all, that's all I got. That's all I got. Um, Dash will start prepping the fish and stuff. All right. So you're just going to slam those, uh, all that fish uh, on the, uh, all, all, just going to slap all that fish on the table where it is and start prepping. Well, I figure since we got three fish, yep. I think um, uh, if like, if you'll allow it, mm -hmm. ideally I'd like to, cook some for us to eat and then um like smoke some over the next day or so yeah so that we can like take it as rations or whatever absolutely like a cigarette. Uh, <laughs> looks at joe are you proud of sorry, that joke yeah. <laughs> i just i was closing my window i had to rush back for it <laughs> <laughs> god damn it Joe rushing just all over again for the record button. I have a joke. I have a joke for this. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just imagine Joe always in a panic trying to get to the joke. Wait, there's a joke there. There's a joke there. <laughs> um, uh, yes. Yeah, so uh, what you can do is um, so for your for the first day uh, you can cook the meal, uh, and if you would like uh, your your since you can only do one project at a time. Uh, you can transform the Arctic Minnow into five rations, five fishing okay. rations, but that'll be another project on its own uh, yeah, that you'll have to do good. for the next day. Uh, Okie okay. dokie. So the first project's there. You got the fish prepped. You're cutting there. What kind of meal you making, Dash? Oh, gosh. Well, I mean, we don't have a whole lot to work with in terms of tools, right? Like, what sort of cooking tools do I have? Well, so the cooking supplies uh, has everything you need to make a meal. Uh, and there's a variety, as you'll probably discover, there's a variety of spices over in this little smuggler's hole that we got over there uh, right. that you could mix with, uh, I think with vegetables and things like that. So you're probably going to be doing a nice grilled fish of some kind. Yeah, I was going to say, I think he'd probably try to just like, you know, uh, just cut it into fillets and then, um, and then grill it. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, Give me a check. Okay. What kind of check am I doing? You're going to be using your cooking supplies, which is in your inventory. Right. Okay. Let's go. 15? Let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I like the really unsure let's go. That's my favorite one. <laughs> let's, let's go. Um, I'm going to do a roll. Boop, boop, boop. That's not bad. That's not bad. Don't worry about that. It sure looks bad. I know. I know it looks bad. It is not bad. Uh, ba, 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 ba. One second. I'm actually checking the Let, thing. Let's, let's go, I, question mark. Let's go. Let's go. Le, let's, let's go. Let's go. All right, guys. Ready to go? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Um, it's just here. Cooking recipes. I know there's one. Uh, here it is. Okay, so uh, you learn the restful cooking recipe. Uh, what this allows you to do is for the uh, the next day, you uh, get 50% uh, more hit dice that you can spend uh, to heal yourself during short rests. Sick. So if you have, let's say, two hit dice, you, you know, if you're level four, for example, um, with four hit dice, you, everyone when they complete their long rest of eating the meal gets an additional two hit dice they can spend on uh, short rest healing. And everyone's well fed for the day. A very hearty meal. That's Great. not bad. Nice. Everyone's presented a plate of fish. Do all your characters like fish? It's very yeah. heart healthy. Omega threes, which in this world are called a Mongol fours. No, Omega threes are good. Omega threes <laughs> exist. <laughs> a Mongol four. The Mongol fours. What? Uh, Mongol fours. See, she Houghton thing. I didn't make it up. <laughs> I didn't make it up just now. Um. All right, and then uh, immediately, uh, Dash passes out. Really tired from all that fishing, all that cooking, and Dash just conks out uh, right over there all right that's my boy <laughs> uh. 
Okie dokie. That'll wrap up your first day. Uh, the second day of projects, the Steel Defender is complete. You've created the potions. And, uh, and uh, Victor is sitting there, uh, arms folded, would you say, Victor? Yeah, crossed, uh, uh, definitely. I would say he won't have folded. He's got his hands like crossed almost mm. in front of him um, mm. on the table. And he's exactly. just kind of staring forward, occasionally glaring at uh, Hellebore. <laughs> Hellebore. <sighs> <laughs> okay. I need you to do something for me, Victor. Can you do something for me? What? I'm going to teach you some new age shit, all right? Like what? I'm going to teach you how to do a spell in hand signs. Do you think that I need to learn a spell from you? I'm far beyond your No, it's pretty sick, dude. Just trust me. Trust me here, okay? Ray of sickness? I didn't, I've known the spell. No, not <laughs> that kind of sick. Fuck it. Just... Yeah. Not good just, damp here, hipster. Just follow my lead. And he does like a hey, hand sign. Do you do follow his lead? Yeah. Alright, he does like a motion of uh <laughs> He does a motion of six different hand signs. Does uh, Victor do all six? As he's doing, he's like, somatic components are not lost on me. What is this all about? As he's copying. You'll see when we're done. Does, does he complete it with him? Yeah. Cool. You just did, you just said please in sign language. Here you go, stupid princess. I ah! give him a standard credits. <laughs> you got fucking owned. Oh. And then I I also finish off repaying the rest of my debts and I give Eli fifty credits. Hey yo. All right. What's this for? Because I I borrowed fifty credits from you to buy herbs that one time and I don't like leaving debts. Oh, right. I was... I didn't expect that back anyway. Uh, well, too bad. I have... I have... I have Stinky McFartbrain, the smart one, screaming in the back of my head, being like, pay your debts, pay your debts, pay your debts, or, or you, you're not good. And I'm just kind of sick of it. I'm tired. I'm just going to pay him so he shuts the fuck up. Well, um, tell Stinky McFartbrain thank you for me. Hell Yeah. All right, Finger guns. It took an entire day, but you managed to get your wealth uh, to <laughs> to do there. Uh, so uh, I already gave you the calligraphy tools, and I'm equipping the calligraphy tools. Uh, oh, he should have two hundred from me. You gave him two hundred? Yeah, because I yeah, you already took two hundred away from me because that's how much the skull was. Oh, I was at I six. Oh, I did. You're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. My bad. Okay. Uh, Victor. So uh, you're going to look over at a. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and I, I give him the finger guns too, and I say, get fucked. He said, so, please, in sign language. Um, I look at uh, Hedemonger. I will have my vengeance against sign language one day. <laughs> Eugene signs, fuck you, bitch. What did it say? <laughs> so he said he loves you. Mm. It's a very special language. I'll teach it to you one day. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! You know, Hellebore is clearly lying through his teeth at you. You will never trick me like that again. You, you got it, man. Like a hawk. Now, big one. Present thy arm. Yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Was, was Dodger okay with it? Uh, yeah, Dodge. I think Dodger said it was fine. Dodger seemed very excited about it. Yeah. So I hope. Otherwise, <laughs> I like the idea that Dash is just asleep, and you're like, "Oh, this will work." <laughs> I would All definitely right. tattoo a sleeping bag. Yo, am I getting a tattoo? Yeah, you're getting a tattoo. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were just making sure you were okay with it before we, we got that tattoo on you. Um, uh, I oh, think... We, we can role play it. This is awesome. All right, so, uh, Victor, yeah. you approach the calligraphy uh, supplies as uh, Dash just wakes up. Yourself and Keris have the largest bicep area. Yeah. And uh -huh. 
Quite frankly, I am concerned that Keras might break my throat open if I was to attempt this on them. So, you shall be my canvas. You shall be receiving power beyond your means. Step Sorry, forward. I just I just woke up. What's happening? Yes, arm out. I'm about to provide you power. The uh, that's right. what drug dealers say, Victor. I'm gonna Not provide you power. <laughs> yeah. yeah, real shady, dude. Dash is gonna look down the table and be like, "What is he doing?" <laughs> I don't paper. know. He's a freak. <laughs> your body. That's coming from a freak. Your body is a spellbook to be drawn upon. Your you body is a canvas. You. Their body is a canvas. Your, you have dark magic inside you, Dash. Now I should provide you a different type of magic. I need to practice this, and you seem the most unlikely to be destroyed by it. So anyway, just face forward, uh, do whatever your simple mind does, and allow me <laughs> to greater you. Whatever your simple mind does. <laughs> can I, can I... Can yeah. I, like, observe what it is he's about to use on me? <laughs> I mean, absolutely. Because he's, he's, like, purposefully not saying, I'm going to tattoo you. <laughs> so, you, so, like, you, is it obvious he's going to tattoo me? <laughs> yeah, I mean, so you kind of see this, uh, this, this ink quill, uh, and you watch as uh, it begins to glow in a way that is similar to... Uh, the eldritch blasts that Victor conjure, uh, conjures, except it's glowing on the tip, and you kind of see the the ink of the pen just swirling around, and it's just getting closer to your arm. <laughs> his eyes are like wide, and his mouth's open. You can see his fangs. He's like, ah, I'm kind of getting closer. <laughs> <laughs> Dash sighs and takes off his jacket and like rolls up his sleeve. Goes, Ray, is it is it permanent? I don't know. I haven't done this in a you while. You don't know? Okay, and then he starts. <laughs> Brett, are they permanent? <laughs> uh, they can they can be removed uh, by the uh, by the cartographer. I was gonna say, do I have to get my laser out? Do I have to laser remove some <laughs> shit if he fucks no. up and just draws like yeah. a piece of poop or something on him? Yeah, no, the uh, someone with uh, calligraphy supplies a proficiency can remove a tattoo from a willing creature. Uh, it will take up a project and require a check. So, yes, it can be removed. But first, give me a calli uh, calligraphy supplies check. Okay. Uh, that'll be under my... What's it under for me? It's in your inventory. So if you mouse over to the inventory okay. button, you'll actually see it. I have it equipped on for you. Oh, yeah, nice. Ooh. Oh my Pretty god. Hard. All right. You just kind of watch as the ink almost leaves the pen like uh Victor's just barely moving. It's almost as if uh he's controlling uh where the ink is going and being placed upon your hand uh using the the dark magics that Victor has. And then you have a beautiful sleeve uh in the design chosen by Victor. What does the sleeve look like, Victor? We all look at and with bated breath. <laughs> Can I have it look extremely like very metal? It looks like a lot of just kind of like, um, like very devilish kind of designs, very infernal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, sick. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's done like, and we're all like, holy shit! <laughs> like a demonic skull. There's like, almost like a like a pentagram on there and stuff. It like going all the way down. He's getting really into just the dark side of it and uh, and makes it go all the way down, kind of interweaving. You have this almost demon-like creature up your arm. All right. Mm. Uh, ooh, that's actually perfect. Um, Dash. Yeah. Uh, the, the infernal devilish uh, tattoo placed upon your arm grants you resistance to fire damage. Nice. Oh, nice. Holy shit, that's so fitting. Yeah, that's really <laughs> fitting. That's why I laughed. I was like, ah, that's cool. <laughs> Your skin is pliable and easily soft. I could draw the entirety of everything on you. Turn you into more magic than man. Behave you want. <laughs> Over time. Victor, you're like, you're really talented. This is amazing. It's not talent. 
the skill that I've acquired over many hours of orchestrated <laughs> practice. <laughs> <laughs> I've ganged over many hours. There are tens of us. <laughs> That's the one. All right. I'm just going to do that. You are attuned. It is equipped. Uh, it is Sick. not. It's, this is eight. Oh, it's not. It is a trinket. Let's go. And you now have uh, doo -doo -doo, damage resistance to fire. Woohoo. So yeah, That's you got you sick. got the yeah you got the sick fucking ink on you right now, uh, and that cost did a hundred credits of experimentation, and now Victor, you gained the knowledge of how to create uh, fire resistance tattoos. Nice. Just gotta do this real quick. Uh, So is there like a limit to how many tattoos each of us can have? Or uh, like yeah, that's what I was wondering. <laughs> uh, it counts as a magical attunement, so three. Oh, oh interesting. Mm -hmm. So you can attune to three magic items. You can have three tattoos if you'd like. Just have the entire body of tattoos if you'd like. You yeah. absolutely can do that. <laughs> yeah. I call this one the right arm of Exodia. <laughs> 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 uh. Going back around to Eli, uh, Eli, uh, you have the shield project and the uh, the empowerment of your steel defender with the axe. What would you like to do? Uh, shield axe. Okay. Uh, Dash, would you like to hand your shield over to uh, to Victor? Absolutely. Or, sorry, to Eli. All yep. right. So um, you're going to be combining the two effects of, of these that are already there. So the material component will will uh, will already be there as well. Um, once you uh, add this bulwark, uh, the protector shield can't gain any more uncommon abilities until you empower it so that it can uh, gather more traits. Because everything has its limits when it comes to items. Uh, you can make uh, stronger uh, mundane items that can hold on to more traits to make it even more powerful. Uh, but uh, the only thing I would ask is, Dash, do you want your shield to look like the protector shield that you have? Or do you want to look like the, uh, the great shield uh, that has been found? Something completely different or something in between? Um, maybe something in between, just so that it's similar to like what Dash is used to using in terms of shape and stuff. Okay, so the the shield itself is gonna have the same uh, the same shape. Um, and uh, Eli, actually, how would you like to uh, make the shield look? And if you want uh, any descriptions from me or any questions, like I'll be happy to answer them. Oh God. Um, sorry. What does it look like currently? Uh, so currently, it is like a riot shield. It's kind of like got this big, almost like clear plastic uh, with a metal band in the middle of it. And you can see upon closer inspection, uh, XDF scratched out uh, on the shield. The great shield is kind of more in this like bulwark slash like like almost like a, triang a, a triangular uh, point um, with this... Um, like massive ankles of uh, hard chunks of uh, of metal uh, that surround it. It looks like a big, giant, like cut apart uh, piece of uh, piece of metal with the great shield. I, I would definitely like to try to keep it as close to rectangular as I can. I would want to have like a slit for for the eyes so okay. Dash can see through. Uh, I would also try to make it a bit more ergonomic. Sounds good. Uh, let's go ahead and give me a tinker tool check. I've got them equipped for you right now. Perfect. Uh, this is also intelligence proficiency. Perfect. Uh, yes. So with that, uh, you return the protector shield uh, back into the possession. Uh, what would you like to name this shield? Sure. Oh, that'll be up to dash. Dash, oh, dash what to name it? Yeah, what would you like to name this shield? <laughs> what a human name. Yeah, I was literally just going to say, I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> D 
Dash would just like name it Dave or something if he was asked like, oh, what are you going to name your shield? I feel like people name their shields. Uh, Dave. All right. Nice. It's done. <laughs> I love when animals are named after like old people. It's great. <laughs> All right. Uh, the Dave. <laughs> God. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. We'll also everybody behind Dave. Hey, what about <laughs> what about Dave? Uh, we'll also provide. It's also considered a plus one shield. So hell yes. So your your armor class will go up as well. I need it. <laughs> I need it. Uh, and, I'm really I'm really hurting for and, more AC. Uh, and also it gains the ability of Bulwark. As an action, you can use the ability Bulwark until the beginning of your next turn. Uh, you gain plus two AC. Uh, in addition, you gain a legendary resistance. If you use legendary res resistance, you can't uh, use it again until you finish a long rest. And that's an action to do. If you want to go like full defensive mode. Can I, so I can, I can do that and have Shield of Faith? Uh, yes, that is correct. <laughs> okay, amazing. I, I believe Shield of Faith stacks with shields as well because it's just literally a floating piece of, of yeah, shimmering yeah. shield. Yeah, so, yep, you absolutely can. Great. Um, so, yeah, you can bonus action Shield of Faith and then you can slam down Dave for the bulwark. And, uh, and yeah, uh, if you look in your inventory, you will see I have indeed named it Dave and yep, it works pretty well. Yep, you sure awesome. have. Let's fucking go, Dave. Dave! D Dave! Um... Uh, Hellebore, are you going to be working on any more potions today? Uh, yes. Okay. Can, can I try to make a specific potion with okay. the base that I have? Uh, you'll have to make the, the base first if you don't have any base. And currently, you don't have any bases. Uh, I think I still have one more. I had in my list three. I had three herb bases. Oh, yeah. So, no, no. Oh, I'm, uh, my apologies. The, um, what I'm saying is you need to make a base. Like, you need to make ah. a base potion. Uh, you need to uh, before you can apply traits again, unless How someone wants that? to hand you a potion of healing. Uh, it depends on the base you want to create. Uh, for alchemy supplies, you can create. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, the bases you can create are um, a default base, which is the cheapest. That's like a five credit cost. A healing base, which is a twenty-five credit cost. Uh, climbing, twenty-five credits. Uh, or tranced, which is also 25 credits. Uh, tranced, I'm just, yeah, go on. I was just gonna send you my idea and I was gonna have you tell me which one it would be. Okay. So here you go. Uh, okay. Ah, I see, you would like to create that. Oh, do we have that there? Uh, bu -bu -bu. You can create the, oh, that's an adventuring gear piece. I see what it is. Uh, yeah, that can be created. Let's go. What's the, uh, let me just see one thing. I just have to check the, the value. Does this even thing even have a value? It's uncommon, so whatever that translates to. Oh, it is uncommon. Ah, that changes some things, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So let me do a, a quick check over here. That will have to be something that you learn or experiment with. So okay. um, you can create a weaker form as a base if you would like. Oh, I'll it, do that. But it won't do uh, nearly as much damage as that. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Awesome. Um, but you will create two, which is great. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So that's going to cost you at a market value of, buh, buh, buh. and you'll actually create two of these uh, upon success. So, uh, with material components equal to the market price. Uh, okay. So to attempt to make this will be 50 credits. And I can't use my herb for this. Uh, you, I think we used both herbs for this. I thought I had three. Okay, then uh, I will, uh, your judgment sounds good. Yeah, my uh, notes, yes. I have three written down, yeah. Yeah, then yes, you can absolutely use the herb and not Let's use go. any of the money. I'll do that then. 
Edits my notes, deletes this. DC uh, eight to make this base. Let's go. All right. Uh, nice. With that, you are able to create two vials of the creation that you want. It sounds like you're wanting to keep it secret, so I will respect that. They look like health potions. <laughs> he says with a smile. They do. They look like health potions. Okay. They do, though. They do, though. Consumable. There we are. And I'm just add, adding this real quick. Oop. Followed with... Okay. Uh, you received two potions. I placed them in your inventory. Feel free to read them and to let you know what they do. Let's go. Can, let's fucking go. Um, Dash and uh, Logan, you guys going fishing today? Oh. I'm, I mean, if you if you if you want if you want to. Sure, Just, we could go fishing again. Is Logan? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, this is going to be a three day, three days of downtime with all the with the uh, the projects that Eli's working on. So you are free to fish if you would like. I mean, I th I think it would be nice to get out. I mean, if you want to. Is Logan just acting really timid because he really wants to go fishing? <laughs> what? No. I mean, it's like it, I'm fine with whatever. So <laughs> some dairy. Playing hard to get, like the fish. Come on, let's go. Okay. <laughs> if you insist, I mean. I mean, like, if you insist, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> if you really want to. I'm doing this for you. <laughs> just, it's good to be able to train someone else every now and again, rather than just be trained yourself. Dash, as you walk outside the tunnel, your arm is a feeling especially sore. It's almost as if your arm is on fire from the fiery tattoo. It's, it's red and pink, and you're kind of like... It's just very sensitive to the touch with the fresh ink that has been inscribed upon your arm. Does it, wait, does it feel hot? It does feel hot, surprisingly enough. Okay, I think Dash probably is walking around in clothes that do not look appropriate for the weather then. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably like jacket off, you know, sleeves mm. rolled up. All right, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little bit of, a little bit of fishing here. I'm gonna start with Dash's line first. Dash, you got something on the line. Fantastic. You got something Ooh. on the line, and psst, gets away. You may, it breaks off your line. Ah oh, man, it's my arm. <laughs> I don't know why. That's Shakes so arm. <laughs> Cle clearly, it's this arm. Clearly. Uh, nothing uh, grabs the line for Logan. Uh, as you continue to fish for the day. Uh, nothing bites for you, Dash. And uh. Logan, nothing bites as well. An uneventful day of fishing as it starts to get dark. It was still fun. We didn't catch anything, but this was nice. Yeah, I used to, when I was younger, I really liked just kind of going out by myself and fishing. It's nice. You get to, you know, just have an excuse to sit and think or not think well I, I i didn't want to say anything in front of the others but i i do some in many ways enjoy your company for things like this when there's you know less of them around <laughs> dash just kind of smiles a little bit and uh starts uh sort of breaking down his um his fishing rod you know you can actually be a really nice guy well you've all done me a favor in 
protecting me like this, and I feel I owe it to you to be on my best behavior. I know I can be a curmudgeon sometimes, but I don't know. A lot, a lot, you, yeah. Well, I can be a lot of things, and... At at this point, I think we all kind of know what we're in for with you, Logan. (laughs) Well, maybe not. Maybe you don't. Hey, um, I don't, I don't know if this is appropriate to say, but, um, I'm really sorry about your son. Well, thank you. Um, I, uh, like your, your tattoo, it's, uh, reminds me of one that my son had. It was, uh. (laughs) <laughs> it was a, a, a pickle, if you would. <laughs> I know it was silly, but... Uh, you see, his mother was very religious. She was part of this wacky pickle church, you see. And... Ah. <laughs> uh, well. He got it in honor of her. Sorry, wait. A, a, a pickle church? Yes. Why? Well, and he pulls out... Uh, the chain that is under his shirt, he pulls it out, and it's a like gold chain with a little pickle dangling down at the end of it. It's like, yes. Uh, Although I don't, I don't practice the faith. Dash, go ahead and roll a religion check. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. Okay. Um, you've heard this uh, belief in passing, but don't know too much about it. It apparently is uh it it has a it it isn't a a very popular religion within uh the io faith uh but you have heard it in passing that's all i can give you with the eight unfortunately okay yeah no problem god i i, I mean i've heard people talk about it before i didn't sorry no offense but i i didn't realize that it was uh still practiced by anyone Oh, don't, don't worry. <laughs> His mother was goblish. It's, it's the thing. Oh. Mm. Is she, um, is she still around, or? Well, it's been some time since we've spoken, but I'd like to think she's doing fine. Yeah. I'm sure she is. <clears throat> um, I just wanted to say I like your tattoo, is all. Yeah, thanks. It, uh, it burns. <laughs> well, I hear that's, that's part of it. It's probably why I'm afraid to get one myself. I wouldn't even know what to get. You get a pickle. That wouldn't, I mean, I don't Victor's know. Victor's really talented. You should ask him for a pickle. <laughs> Pickle know. Rick! Shut up, <laughs> Summer. Shut up. This is a moment. I'm potentially worried that pickle would be a little more phallic than I like, but that is our oh, vampire friend after that. all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, come on. It's starting to get dark. All right. You know, you're not, you're not, you're not so bad, Dash. The more you say that, the more I'm thinking that you thought I was really bad a while ago. <laughs> no, I... I think the bad one here was me, and I'm... I'm and he, like, really struggles to say it! I'm, I'm sorry for the way I've, I've treated you thus far. I am not keen to be attached to new elements in my life. And, uh, I think I tried to push you away in, I mean, like, I am, I am, I am sorry for that. Uh, Logan, it's not, I don't mind the way that our interactions have been. It's the situation that we're in is just. It's just hard on everybody, you know? 
Um, and I can't help but think that maybe we could have done everything better up to this point if you had just been more honest with us. Well, it is a lesson I have learned, and it has been a hard one. But I figure I should start with you before I engage the others. Dash will nod a little. Well, kind of locked in, so whatever you need me for, boss. Well, <laughs> Damn it. Every time you see that 40 20 roll, you're like, <laughs> here it comes. I'm ready. He opens up his jacket, he pulls Loins out a girded. small book, pages a little bit, puts the book back in his pocket, and then says, Tiger. That brain of yours makes the world go round. High five. And he holds out his hand. Um, Dash gives you a full force high five. <laughs> yeah, man. And then I, I help put stuff away. <laughs> <laughs> Arriving back into the, uh, the, the ruins of the base, uh, you will all see uh, that uh, Logan and Dash return empty-handed however uh is it safe to say in in high spirits yeah very we're in a good mood yes fucking dare you to ask victor to give you a pickle see how he takes it (laughs) what (laughs) what is a pickle uh dash would you like to spend your project to transform the uh the arctic minnow into into fish rations. Yes, please. All right. Uh, go ahead and give me a cook's utensils check. 14. Ah. Um, you do your best with what you've made, uh, and you've managed to make an additional uh, five rations of this dried out sort of like fish jerky. Sick. All right. Uh, you guys will rest for the day, and then day three, the final project of Eli. Eli, are you ready to tinker your uh, that axe into uh, into your steel defender? I am. Okay. Uh, this will require a, a use of your tinker's tools again. Uh, upon success, your steel defender now has the ability, uh, as a bonus action, um, to uh, attack with an additional two d twelve damage. Uh, if your uh, steel defender does not move that round. And that has been applied. So what I have in mind for this is, uh, it takes time since they're not moving, but there is an ax built into one of the arms of this very, very creepy doll. So it deploys it and then cuts. Ooh, very cool. I like that. I like that very much. Um, while you work on this, you hear uh, the sound of clanging and breaking uh, in the back over here. Is anyone doing anything? Uh, Ew, what the fuck? Is it like like something's moving around? Uh, you kind of hear a <laughs> as if things are like falling off. Like, th- like something falling down. Everyone, isn't that the room with the explosives? You'll then hear, I'm okay. God damn it, Pinchy! Pinchy, Hello. come on, man. Hello. Oh my god, he oh, got shit. his own token. Oh my god. Oh, look at him, he's so dapper. Oh my god. I found <laughs> some clothes in the back. And I figured I'd put it on since you want me to be incognito, he says in air quotes. You look adorable. Um, uh, I am not familiar with this term. You look good, Pinchy. Oh. Hmm. This is acceptable. Your life has been spared. Pinchy looks forward. Folds his little mandibles like a little gentleman. Very generous. All right, and uh, 
<laughs> looks over at the AFK dash. Does he have some kind of narcolepsy or falls asleep a lot? <laughs> He's got a lot going on in his brain. Ah, yes. Ah, so you too have the link. Mm. Didn't recognize that was something humanoids had. No, I think there's just a toddler running around in there, and, and, and they have to take breaks to deal with the toddler running around in their head sometimes. There is a small infant upon the large it's, man's right, brain. It's an, it's an expression, Pinchy, not literal. Uh, you know what your problem is? You need to be more straightforward with the way that you speak. For example, you have a strange smell that I dislike greatly. That's called dead body. Uh, Are you talking about the mushroom in my bag? That's kind of stinky. Mm. You know, it smelled of death. That is what it is. So you're a walking corpse? I don't like to think of it like that, but technically. Oh, fascinating. And she walks up. It's just like. Can you detach that? Points over at the arm. I, a lot of people assume so, but actually, no. I mean, your third hand is running around the table rather yeah, rapidly. He's special. I guess it kind of sets off like the wrong image, but I can't actually like take anything off. I will die. Ah, so you will die again. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate, but you know, I I'm vibing. Fascinating. Not much to like. I don't know, I'm not, I don't sweat it to dying too much anymore. When you die in like such a super violent way, it's like, oh, that's the worst thing that could ever happen to you. So like, I already dealt with that, so not too scared of it anymore. I guess at this point, Pinchy will pull out a giant leg of an elk and slam it down on the table. <laughs> what? Sick. Indeed. Where did you get that? Outside. Then he passes stomach. That's all he does. Doesn't really explain anything. I'm proud of you, bud. Good job. It was important that I fed. I will be sated for quite some time now. I figured since we are currently not attempting to kill each other, that perhaps I should share. And this is my attempt to do so. Holds up the uh, elk leg. Who wants a bite? Well, uh, you just see uh, gore and blood just completely spread across the table. Uh, I love well, that. we would have to cook it. We can't just eat it like that. But that's very nice of you. We don't have the same kind of stomach biome you do. Pitchy like squints both of both of his eyes and he's like, cook it. Oh, you mean ignite it on flame, completely eliminating the natural flavor. Shame, shame, shame. She shakes his head. We get sicky if we eat it raw. We're built a little bit different. Ah, I see. Something with the, the the bio in the stomach, you said? Yeah. But, like, so we take out the natural flavor, but that's why we invented MSG. To give it more <laughs> flavor. Mm, I see. The strange alchemical ingredient known as... MSG. I'm unfamiliar with this. It well, makes perhaps, it taste better. perhaps as a trade uh, and a show of good faith, I can assist you in this matter. He'll then open up his pincers as he begins to like bubble up and spew his acid bile and like place it on his head. <laughs> if you consume this, I'm sure it will transform your stomach. Hands it <laughs> to Hellebore. As it drops to the ground, you literally see it steam and uh, smoke as it like lights, like it starts to burn the area. I think that would kill me, Pinchy. <sighs> Pathetic. Swallows the acid pile back. Well, then more for me. I shall consume this when I get hungry in the next week. 
places the well, elk back. If you the, think uh, about it, like how it seems to me, you just offered me to eat your puke, and I wouldn't offer you to eat my puke. Well, your puke provides no nutritional value to me. It depends on what I puke. Explain. <laughs> maybe another when you're older. <laughs> Very what? well. What? We're about to eat dinner, maybe. You're about to eat dinner, maybe. Very well, I understand. Um, uh, uh, how much <laughs> elk is there? Like a hundred credits worth, or? <laughs> I would say there's a. It's a. I mean, it's a giant. It's literally a, a like a big old giant elk leg uh, that you could just see easily now that it's been placed in the overcoat. Uh, yes, I would say a hundred credits worth. Um, I can try to make something out of this if everybody feels okay about that. Hmm. I don't he's, know if I want... <laughs> Fine. And then he just pulls he's gonna show other. you what MSG is, Pinchy. <laughs> yeah, you can have some, Pinchy. You can see if you like it. Whatever you do with it, please just get it off my workstation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you'll you'll yeah. see it's Pinchy. It's it just, it just like, I don't want your charred flesh. You're free to do with it as you please. Pinchy provides. Are you gonna do a little little cooking? I would like to cook with it. Please. All right. Uh, this will be a higher DC because you're literally looking at it's it's well frozen and preserved, but there de this definitely has not kept well through the uh, through there. So the DC will be a, a bit higher to see if you make something from this. Okay. Am I just using my cooking utensils? Yes, you are. 17? Uh, that is sufficient as you nice. make a, a lovely seasoned, uh, I was going to say venison. I don't think elk is venison, or is it? I don't know. I'm going to roll a 1d20. Hey, two. Look at that. You're moving up in the world. All right. Uh, so this one, um, <laughs> actually, that's really funny. Let me, I have to pull out some information. I'll tell you exactly what it is. Uh, essentially, what you've created is a um, is some food with some antibacterial uh, qualities <laughs> to it. So, um, as you consume this, let me actually read this. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, oh, that's literally what it is. Um, so. Uh, the first time that you, what, since you, uh, when you eat this, uh, the first time uh, that you would either uh, be diseased um, or poisoned, uh, diseased, poisoned, paralyzed, deafened, or blinded, uh, you are not instead. Like, it's completely removed. The first time in the next day. Okay. So it has antidotal properties. And I shall place that there, and everyone is well fed once again. Uh, I like Yummy. to I like to assume you've done all that to get rid of all the bacteria that the elk would have already had. Uh, in a sense, you made a very hearty, uh, very healthy meal, kind of like infused with a lot, like a lot of vitamin C. I uh, would offer some to Pinchy. <laughs> Pinchy would look over at it as you see his little pinchers kind of like close a little bit. As if it's an attempt of a smell. What did you do with this? Uh, not much. I just uh, boiled it really well and um, and then seared it. You boil your meat? Sometimes, yeah. It can be a good way to like, you can basically cook it in the water, but then get a good sear on it and it's all cooked through. Mm. Just try it. Very well, human. I will try your boiled meat. And you'll see Pinchy take a small little bite of it. And it's just like, as you see, like, the pinchers and little little, little teeth mandibles starts crunch. Not even crunching down. It just kind of sw swallows a little bit. And you just see Pinchy just shake his head violently. It's slimy. It just completely slid down my throat so easily. Ah. <laughs> Hey, at I, least you tried it. I wish I did it. <laughs> you have my thanks, human. But that was very disgusting. 
We got grindy teeth, Pinchy. We don't have cutty teeth. Uh, I pull a tooth out of my bag. Whose tooth is it? I don't know. It's just in there. What is that rock? As well, these are. I point in my mouth. See, they're grindy. We gr We got grind. We don't like. Piper, whose tooth is that? Pinchy grabs your mouth and opens it wide to observe your uh, teeth. <laughs> Okay, so yeah. This, this, this won't do. This doesn't do anything. It's just grindy. Hmm? When you kill, you kill for necessity and pleasure, yes? It depends on the mood. Well, when we eat, unlike you, you might eat for necessity. We eat for pleasure and necessity. Much like fighting. Uh, Pinchy removes Hellebore's mouth. And like stares at you for a moment. Oh, he removes my mouth. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, sorry. He removes his hands from your mouth. <laughs> no, I was gonna be like, no. Pulls out your jaw. <laughs> Pinchy, we just went over this. I cannot <laughs> remove body parts. <laughs> Pinchy I looks cannot, over. I at, cannot take off my jaw. Pinchy looks over at you, almost as if to di digest the information, and slowly nods. This explanation is sufficient. I gained much pleasure from the murder of my enemies. And since you seem to be... Uh, a bit uncomfortable with killing, it would only make sense that you would find pleasure in something. Like eating and copulating or whatever it is you do. Yes. <laughs> Food is very much a pleasurable activity flavor. What you might enjoy when you kill someone is their screams. What I might enjoy when I eat food is some nice salt and pepper and spice. I Very don't much enjoy the, the screams. He interrupts oh. you. <laughs> well, I, I don't want to ask what you enjoy. I don't go to continue this conversation. When I kill someone, I slash yep, their okay. throat to ensure that they, there's no screaming. I prefer right. the silent kill. Do you know what I prefer? Mm. A silent meal. So, once he's cooked, a little less out of you, all right, Pinchy? <laughs> I can respect this. And when I'm killing someone, you should also keep quiet. This is a fair exchange. Sure. <laughs> Just a winded victor, like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> hey, who wants a tattoo? <laughs> I scream on the inside. This is understandable. Uh, um, uh, Victor, will you be uh, creating another tattoo tonight? His eyes are going to flash around the room, trying to meet anyone that might look towards him as he holds his quill. Eugene Above board, does anyone want a tattoo? You. <laughs> Eugene looks at you. Not you. You are the personification of sign language. I have a vendetta against you, creature. <laughs> I mean, you're just assuming this is some demonic entity named Sign Language. <laughs> uh, I'm going to look towards our dear detective. <laughs> Logan is not even paying attention to you or your thing or anything. Is Logan purposefully? Like is Logan looking at, like, the fishing tackle, like, wondering when he's going to go out again? Yeah. He's, like, not <laughs> even focused on, on Pinchy or anything. Logan. Yes? I have recently taken back up one of my older skills. Right. Well, that's worrying. Skill. No, 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 no. It's a, a gentle one. Magical. <laughs> I'm not sure you know what a gentle skill is, my friend. Oh, well, this one might be unfamiliar to you. Perhaps you've seen Dash's arm. I have. It's, um, well done. Thank you. If you allow me to have access to your arm, I can provide something equally as good. You would, you would like to have access to my arm, would you? Any body part would do, of course. It just depends what kind of magic you wanted imprinted into your skin. 
Well, I'll keep that any body part in mind, but unfortunately I'll have to turn you down. I'm not, not really sure what I'd enjoy tattooed on my body, and frankly, the idea of you doing it is a little worrisome. Yeah, I'll find someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Get us. Dash, give me your other arm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just noticed that you find yourself at the forefront of combat so often. Perhaps you'd like a little advantage. The way you say that is terrifying. You know this, right? It's cool. Karis will kind of like... <laughs> Karis will kind of glance at Dash's arm. You mean something like that? Yes, but unique to you. Something new. Uh, Karis honestly probably would have been eyeballing, uh, eyeballing Dash's sleeve over the past, like, <laughs> day or so that he's had it. And she'll squint a little bit. Um, do you have something in mind? Perhaps something to do with your nickname. A cleaver. No thanks. All right, <laughs> she'll turn about a fish. <laughs> no, I'd. <laughs> 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 a, a fish? <laughs> Oh, you still got her. <laughs> what? He's so desperate, dude. <laughs> you are made of complicated flesh. Yeah. Perhaps you wish for something to be imprinted upon it to make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Can I make a request? Ugh, sure. He like... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, come come over here really quick. He wants a tramp stamp that says please on it. <laughs> no! <laughs> come over here. I want to show you something in my book really quick. Come here. Um, And he's going to open his book and he's going to show you a picture of something in his book. Oh, God. You might like this. It's kind of similar to what you did to Dash's arm. Where are fucking DMs, Joseph Fudge? There you are. He shows you this picture, which is like etched into his book and like it's drawn really nicely. It's loading, it's loading, it's loading. It's can, I also, can I also get that picture so the audience knows what you're doing? Oh yeah, it's this. I'm sending it oh. to you too. Yeah, that's like a drawn in like black and white in his book. And it's like, it doesn't look like legible yet, but he, he like shows you that. You want this put on to you? You no, know, like a simplified version, like... Perhaps it's wrapping around you. No, just like back on my neck, line. dude. Back, like the back of my oh. neck where I can hide it easily. Oh, look, I, I, I just maybe just the head part of it then. Yeah, just the head part of it. That'd be kind of sick. Not sure. All right. <laughs> How about all the way up the back of the hair? We can shave the back of it. I'm... I've been growing my hair out since I was born. You're not cutting it. It doesn't grow anymore. All my hair follicles are dead. I'd like to keep it at the length that it is. What if we got you a wig or another scalp? Yes. No, I don't wow. need another scalp transplant. I'm, I'm good. You're no fun. I only have a hundred of these yeah. credits left. So let me just see my options. What if you did it on Benchy? I was thinking that, but then I was thinking, he might be too strong. Wait, uh, <laughs> wait, here. I got an idea, Victor. I got an idea, Victor. Just, I'll be back in an hour. All right, I go watch your gun. Okay. Eli. <laughs> <laughs> you just watch this Eli's tinkering uh, with the steel defender, getting that axe uh, equipped in. Eli doesn't even look up. He just says, I got three rules. No boys, no tattoos. In bed by 10. Yes, it, it, it's not. It's not a tattoo. It's an evolution of magic. Sounds like a tattoo. Benchy. No. You'll be greater than you are. 
Why are you try- attempting to draw on people's arms? It is very much a way of testing my skills that I might improve. You mentioned can... this is magical. Yes. Allow me to inspect your instrument. No. But... <laughs> then I refuse. Well, fine. <laughs> I didn't want to tattoo on you anyway. It would probably be a pain in the ass to tattoo Chitin. <laughs> yeah. Need a drill. I'm a bit of a squirmer. <laughs> <laughs> so no one wants to be greater. Fantastic, I have to wait for the little creature to return. Fine, he sits on the chair. <laughs> An hour later, the gremlin hops in. Oh, I went, to town, later, to, the I went to town to sell my, my ice mushroom to the potion shop. Ooh. Not as me, of course. I, uh, I look different just to get some extra cash. Of course. Uh, so let's go ahead and let me see your, your, uh, your mushroom. B -b 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 it's an ice mushroom that we stole from... Stolen mushroom. Your throne. It's like an icy mushroom. Yes, very good. Uh, the potion dealer, uh, when he returned back to the alchemy shop, would look at the, at the potion and inspect it. Mm, fine specimen. I can give you 25 credits for this. Can you make it 30? Can you They're pain in the ass to grow. Can you give me a perception, uh, a uh, persuasion check? I can. Oh my God. Persuasion. I'm not good at that. <sighs> Best I could do is 26. Do you? <laughs> I just wanted more than 25. That's it. That's I did it. I just wanted to be a winner. I and just wanted I a won. W today. <laughs> I just desperately needed the W. Uh, oh, and when I get back, I hand a potion to Karis, and then I hand a potion to Logan. The uh, the long strider potion. Yes, uh, this is uh, it's thanks. a healing potion, but when you drink it, you also move faster. Oh, Kara's gonna zoom. <laughs> yep. So make sure to take note if you ever need to move faster. Drink that one. I think you two benefit from it the most. Thank you very much. Thanks. You're welcome. If you need more of that in the future, or you like it whenever you get to try it. Just let me know. Karis I can make up. more. <laughs> Karis thumbs up. Just trying to be helpful. Let's go! Back up to 66! Uh, looks up. We'll look over at... Uh, Pinchy will look over at you and say, That is indeed very helpful, young child. I are got you a feeling... special potion for you, Pinchy. Are you feeling your morale yet? Surging through you. Pinchy, how old are you? How many how many rotations of Jupiter have you been alive? This is a fantastic question. I am currently three rotations old. <laughs> huh. That's interesting. Why is that interesting? I'm I'm a don't call me child, bitch. I'm a lot older than you. <laughs> How old are you? 25 rotations. You can live that long? We can live... Well, it depends on the race. He points at Logan. Logan can live like 700 rotations. I only live around like 90. No wonder you're all such a pest. You won't die. <laughs> I have probably four or five more rotations left before I perish. And then the new breed will feed upon my co-ops, gathering knowledge for their link. Okay, I don't want to listen to Pinchy talk anymore, Logan. Can you just, or not Logan, Victor, can you just do the thing? Put your head on the table now, let's go. Put <laughs> your head on the table! <laughs> Am I get a pillow? Yes. <laughs> no, shit. no time. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. All right, we're doing it. Dash, Dash make sure he doesn't Dash comes over, puts me. his arm under your head. <laughs> Pinchy uh, sits over and leans down, looking directly into uh, Hellebore's eyes while the tattoo is being inscribed. <laughs> I've known then... one that lived five rotations. It was very impressive and sad. Eugene will come over and plug Hellebore's ears for him. Or one of them. 
If one doesn't die in glorious combat within five cycles, it is indeed sad. All right, go and roll a calligraphy supplies. Oh! Oh my God. Ooh. Let's go! So, uh, this is our frenemies arc. We're at tapping. All right, so uh, the <laughs> I paid you. You're tattooing me. Uh, the benefit of rolling a 20 in a crafting check uh, means the material component cost is discounted by 25%. So this project will actually take nice. only 75 credits instead of the uh, instead of 20. Uh, You're not so. broke. Let's go. <laughs> Woohoo! What kind of broke? Bro? That's okay. I can go and buy 25 energy drinks. <laughs> That's true. You can buy. You can buy Beepus. Awful. <laughs> Beepus, yay! All right. Uh, very effective. I'm going to go ahead and do a d20 roll. I rolled a three. What do I get? Uh, this will be... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Looking, looking, looking. Oh, actually, that's going to be a, a, a re-roll because you already know that recipe. There we go. Uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, Hellebore, you gain an anti-poison tattoo. You gain resistance to poison damage, Dang. and Yo. you gain advantage on saving throws against being poisoned. Yo! Let's go! Actually fits your image as well. I can't be poisoned, I'm undead. I left the quill. Masterpiece. And quicker time. Ash, does it look sick? Yeah, it looks really good. Let's go. Of course, it looks good. I've never failed in my life. <laughs> what? Uh, now be what, rid of me. What does What does it look like? Um, it'd be the head of the image that uh, Summer sent. Um, and I imagine the kind of the way I've done it is infused the magic into like the tentacles coming out of the flower. So that's like the anti poison. Mm -hmm. And so they kind of glow, oh, almost look fluorescent. Oh, that's fun. I am truly gifted. As he sits down, <laughs> look at his hands. The other people. This is what's on the back of his neck for the other dead beast. It's this head. It's pretty gnarly looking. Oh boy. Karis oh, kind of like peeks over and is is growing slightly jealous. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> hmm. Let's go. And she looks up. What are you staring at, buff woman? It looks cool. <laughs> Matches him. And she goes back and sits down. How does that grumpy. How does that affect his temperature? Oh my god, did she just compliment me? <laughs> I complimented the tattoo, but yes, I suppose. She <laughs> shit. Almost a W, almost a W. Almost a W, dude. <laughs> I was kidding, by the way. I understand the terminology of cool. Pinchy nods. Your vocabulary is oh. growing. My vocabulary is stellar. <laughs> Always has been. Hell yeah, dude. What's the longest <laughs> word you know? Righteous. Cycle. <laughs> Smaller word than Stella. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to speak. I don't know how to spell. Cycle. S C Y C K L L L E Y. Honestly, it's closer than I thought he'd get. And he just kind of starts going in like a string of letters as he continues. <laughs> I'm impressed that he knows what letters are. E. Yeah. Ampersand. E. I'm surprised he knows what an ampersand is. <laughs> It's what I ate for lunch yesterday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Something. Oh. 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 Um, and then uh, since this is day three, uh, Dash and Logan, do you go fishing one more time? I mean, I would like to. Yeah, if there's nothing else. If there's Can nothing I else for us to do. Yeah, you want to come? Yeah, I want to watch. I don't got any more potions to make. Yeah, let's go fishing. Come on, Dash will teach you. Very good teacher. I like Dash. I just want to watch. I just want to watch. 
I, I I like this arc Fine. where just um <laughs> where um <clears throat> Logan just really enjoys the fishing, the quiet, the silence. <laughs> no, it's cute. It's just eager to like go back out, but doesn't want to tell anyone. I like that. All right. Uh, Hellebore, you squat on a small chair that's over by the dock. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do some fishing. We'll start with Dash. See if anything's biting. Nope. Logan. Oh, my God. Uh, Logan got, Logan's got something. I, I have, have Dash, something. Dash is excited. Go ahead and do a uh, 1d20 okay, roll, Logan. Okay. And uh, you pull up an arctic minnow, the small fish attached to the uh, attached to the hook of your your rod. You did Look gather it up, and there it is. Nice, well done. <laughs> Thank you. Clap, clap for me. Do you want Do you want to take a shot at it? I like put my rod out. Oh me? No, no, I'm good. I oh, can come teach on. you. It's not. It's not hot at all. I already smell like dead bodies. I don't need to smell like fish either. Come well, on, Piper. Come on. Uh, Does fine. Dash give puppy dog eyes? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, Dash gives puppy dog eyes has to immediately. It's my legal contract. <laughs> that, worked, that worked too well. All right. You find a uh, old uh, fishing rod uh, that's over on the deck long since been abandoned. You pick it up and you go for the cast. Dash shows you what to do. And you got something on the line. Look at oh that! Yes. Roll, Let's go. Roll a one d twenty for it's me. It's the scene from Ghost. It's the scene from Ghost. <laughs> and there it is. You managed to catch yourself a prealore trout. Look at you! You're natural. This big, yeah, this this big fish you were able to, able to, to pull up, and uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, Dash helps haul it up. Look at that! You did amazing. I can't carry clap, that. Clap, I don't, clap. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know how I reeled that in. It was uh, definitely a challenging time. My arms are feeble. Everyone gets another round of fishing. I'm gonna roll a d20 for Dash. Come on, uh, Dash. You get something on the line here, as well. Here we fucking go. Yeah. And we at yeah, you easily, just with ease. You 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 yank back at the rod, uh, and you also get yourself a prealore trout. Nice, nice. Uh, so far, you guys have 125 credits worth of uh, food materials for cooking. Aww. We have a hobby. I love that for us. <laughs> um, I'm checking this is for, therapy. I'm checking for Logan. Logan gets something on the line as well. Give me a D20 roll, Logan. That's sufficient. You get yourself. Uh, it's another tiny fish on the on the. Uh, on the line as you get a second arctic minnow. Well, there's no big thing like you got, but I got two of them. That's, I feel good about that. Yeah, consistency is the most important part. The fish are Thank absolutely bind today, uh, biting today as <gasps> Hellebore, <clears throat> you get as you, you get a huge pull at the line. Uh, I, I dash, dash, help me, dash. dash. Dash helps hold him steady. <laughs> yeah, a dash. You recognize this pull. This is a fucking lunker, dude. Oh, not, let's not too go. hard. Don't not too hard. All right. So when you get don't a don't slap the line. So when you get a lunker on the line, uh, you actually are going to require multiple successes to uh, catch the uh, catch the fish. So give me one second. Let me see what you got on the line, because there's actually a variety of lunker fish. This is effe effectively, uh, uh, <laughs> this is effectively boss fish, essentially. It's gonna pull me into the water. Please steady me. It, won it won't. It won't. I've got you. All right. I gotta check one more thing. You are over in Prealor. You are over in Southern Ishtar. Ba, 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 ba. It is. Oh boy, what are we looking at? <gasps> Woo! Okay, 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 okay. Uh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this You're... fish gonna kill me? Uh, we're about to find out. What the <laughs> fuck? Uh, no, it's not. No, it's not gonna kill. It's not gonna kill. Obviously. <laughs> Um, but you do manage to land a, a sizable chunk. I'm oh, sorry. One, 
It is a 19, not a 20. Checking to see on. Okay. Do there. Okay. All right. All right. <clears throat> uh, challenger. Sorry about this. Ah, there it is. All right. Give me a D20 roll. Okay. Uh, as you try to reel it in, you kind of got Dash like hugging at you, holding at you right there, uh, and it just starts to it just starts to yank. It just starts to pull. It starts to pull you in. Give me another D20 roll. Oh God. And, but oh. you man you managed to catch on. Uh, as you feel yourself reeling the fish in with the old fishing rod, trying your best to get everything in, uh, you felt you, you you feel like you have one more chance. The line is beginning to weak. I need one final d20 roll, please. Spits on my dice. And the line no. <clears throat> snaps as oh. you see. Oh. This <laughs> we both fall under the ground. <laughs> as you, as you as you see the the fish leap up, you see this beautiful large white dragon fish leap up into the air and then go back into the uh, the ocean. Well, Whew, you almost had shit. it. You did amazing, Piper. That was fantastic. I think I I think I disaligned my spine. Oh God, I'll I'll carry you. It's okay. <laughs> Dash sweeps up Hellamore. <laughs> My spine is in twain. I've never seen a fish like that before. I wonder what that's called. Oh, I haven't. Maybe we should put Pinchy as the. Or not Pinchy. We should put Eugene as the bait next time. Would I know what that. Would I have old man knowledge? <laughs> like what that was? Old man knowledge. Uh, you guys are free to roll nature checks to see if you've seen a fish like that before. I already in character said I didn't know what it was, so I won't roll. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'll allow you to roll if you'd like. If you're like, oh, wait, I think I know what that is. Never mind. <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh, no. wait, I had weak brain. I'll leave it up to you. Ah, Logan yeah. actually does have that. Um, the, the fish is a white. It was a small white dragon fish. And by small, I mean, it's still like the size of of uh, of of Hellebore. Um, oh, as it leaps there, the scales itself is re the reason why it's called a white dragon fish is because of its sort of like really gnarled, fanged jaw. Um, its eyes itself are extremely beady and small, and the scales themselves uh, appears to be that of a, an almost of, of an ancient, of, of an old ancient dragon that shimmers uh, within the sky. Uh, the fins kind of like stretch out a little bit, and it kind of looks like the membrane of a dragon wins. Or, 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 Would, or dragon uh, wing. Is it a rare fish? It absolutely is a. It's uh, dragon fish themselves are especially uh, rare catches that typically you would only catch uh, in large bodies of water, such as oceans, which you're currently at right now. Hmm. So yes, it is absolutely a rare fish. Well, I would say it's an honor just to have seen it. So good show. It had a value of 500 credits. No! I won't tell them that part. I'll let that, I, 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 won't, I won't explain that part. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for sparing me. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with that, would you like to return back? Yeah. Uh, well, we're in the peace and quiet of nature, and I'm getting carried back because my fucking spine... Uh, Hello World will say it a dash. Hey, he's not gonna say it because I don't feel like letting him talk right now, and he was mean to me yesterday, but Piper says thank you for being our emotional support when talking to evil parental figures. Oh. <laughs> Tell him it's no problem. Really whiny right now. It's kind of a pain in my ass. <clears throat> I feel like if there was a way for you two to go to couples counseling, it would probably do a lot of good for you. Oh, here. So you want to hear something really fucked up? Uh, I'm going to uh, cast message on Dash. And so when he says when he does message to you, you can hear Hellebor as the loudest, but like in the distance, like as if somebody's screaming, like in the background of somebody <laughs> on the phone. 
You can uh, hear Piper just screaming in the background, no. like really muffled. <laughs> Dash looks alarmed. Yeah, it's great in here. It's no wonder you're both so angry all the time. Yeah, we don't get along very well. All right. So you guys will uh, return back to, 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 to base. Yarp. Yeah. Okay. And with the third day passed, uh, you would return with just a just a bunch of fish. Um, let me check over here. Uh, Let's go. You've got two Arctic minnows, and you've got uh, I think that you've got my one trout. Prealore trout. Yep, you've got two prealore trouts, two Arctic minnows, which would be a total of two hundred. And oh wait, two hundred. Oh, sorry. A hundred and uh, fifty credits worth of food supplies. Sick. If you would like to do some more cooking. Yeah. Okay. I'll, yeah. All right. You grab the fit. You grab all the fish and begin to uh, begin to prepare. Beep. I should really buy Beep. some MSG for you to use when cooking next time I'm in town. Let's go. On nineteen, baby. Let's go. Yummy! Let's go. Man. I, well, uh, I, I already I, got a two. I... I know. Okay, I was just... It was just uh, uh. All right, let me check over here. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh. Upon the consumption of this fish, uh, you all gain uh, five temporary hit points uh, until uh, your next long rest. Not this one coming up. How about your next long rest? Wait, that's sick! Because then we're that's leaving great. in the morning! Yep. Let's go! Perfect timing. Yeah, we get temp HP for when we leave! Yep, yep, yep. And that's going to be a cooking recipe uh, of aid. Aw, oh, heck yeah. Nicely done. Well done. Okay. You guys long rest once again. And then um, on the fourth day, everything is done. All your projects have wrapped up and you're now ready uh, ready to get going. Ready to head north uh, of Prealor. Is there anything that you guys do before you depart? I will take that as a no and you guys will continue to move forward. Okay. Bo, bo, bo. Where? Where is that? Okay. <clears throat> uh, activate. Uh, after spending the day traveling, uh, you would arrive. Uh, I'm assuming you guys are going to Helvid first. Is that correct? Yeah, we're headed to... towards yeah. Wolf to take care of the the Wapians. Okay, uh, so you guys will head over to uh, to Helvid. Um, I'm assuming you would have instructed that you would have been there in three days' time, correct? Oh yeah. Or would you be like, oh, we'll be there soon, and then he's just waiting, like just at the the the. Cold. I probably would have told him, uh, gonna be three days. Eli's doing some projects. Gotcha. We'll be there. Or, or like, I'd probably tell him like, I'll call you when we're like outside the city. Okay. Um. So Wolf would absolutely uh, meet you outside of Helvid, uh, just bundled up with a variety of suits before just, just multiple like jackets and suit suits and walks over over to you guys, nodding, and we'll just just say, I hope you've been well. We've managed. All right. We got sick tats and went fishing. <laughs> Glad you've spent your time well then. So you'll see kind of like Wolf, like hold onto the hat as he stares up over to the north. My sources tell me from the limited sources that I do have that over to the north by the four thrones is an ancient old town. Managed to pull up some records on it. Uh, the town in... Uh, oh, second. Oh, yeah. Uh, the town's called Penketh, or was once upon a time. 
buried in snow and 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 uh, buried in snow and been ruined for quite some time. From my understanding, though, there's something weird going on there. I can hear the sounds of something heavy over there, loud and strange, almost gurgling noises from the north, from outside of the city border. That might be this weapon that you're looking for. Uh, and then I gotta get, yeah, Pinchy. Uh, Pinchy will kind of look over at Wolf and say, Explain this gurgling humanoid. Wolf turns around and says, eh. oh, Unfortunately, I've heard the sound a couple of times. It's the, it's similar to, well, someone choking on their own blood. Pinchy will look, oh, look, give a nod and say, that is typically the sound of a injured chi, chi weapon. The chi weapon utilizes the acid that we spit from our pores in a weaponized fashion. If the weapon is taken on some damage, that is a common trait that happens. As the acid itself poorly circulates throughout the body. Because of this, it does give a bit of a unnatural gurgling. Pinchy will kind of, for the first time, kind of like tremble a little bit at the uh, at the sound of that. Recalling that Pinchy does not like the sound of uh, someone dying. and prefers to do his kills quietly. Um, so I don't know if any of you have anything to follow up with or anything to ask or anything to say, but I'll give you an opportunity to speak now. Can I do any kind of, uh, fun investigatory roles to like glean more from, from that, from, from that conversation? Uh, you can roll an investigation, although I'm uncertain what you'll would discover from that conversation. Okay. Unless I mean, if I can, uh, yeah. Like Is there if I can in, cursor in glance that it's like. Well, I mean, I I want to, so correct me if I'm wrong, but Please. my assumption is that whatever is making that weird noise, mm -hmm. if Pinchy is uncomfortable with it, would that be because the, like, you know, it, oh, yeah, it's in his past, Please. there was a thing involving this thing, or like, does he have experience with this, or is it just the concept of blood gurgling is that's a uh, that's a good question. Yeah, feel free to do your eye of detail for perception. I would love to. Is it just a straight investigation roll? Uh, I think eye of deception's perception, right? You can do investigation or perception. I'll leave it up to you. I just want to make sure I get it right. You know what I'm saying? I I, I got that. I appreciate that. Yeah, I just can't. I couldn't find it on my thing. Oh, yeah. No, will... it's investigation. Yeah, go and roll an investigation check. All right. Um, so yeah, as you kind of watch the conversation and Pinchy explains the gurgling of this of the uh, chi weapon. Uh, yeah, it, it just looks generally uncomfortable. Um, it may be because of the, the fact that uh, he stated earlier he's not good with the sounds of death. Um, but it does seem a little bit more than that, as if as if uh, Pinchy has witnessed uh, something like that before. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. It definitely Dude, feels Pinchy lore, Pinchy trauma. It definitely feels a little familiar to Pinchy. All right, and Dean, this is you've heard it yourself. You said I have. I've got some sources that have heard it. Yes. And these are, are more. Sure? These are more of my personal contacts. All right, while the, while I just the lament, to make sure they were trusted, yeah. trustworthy. While the, while, while the family itself has a variety of contacts, and some of the sergeants of the family kind of carry our own as well. Not really sure who you can trust nowadays, even when the Lamento family was all was all clean and good. I would still. Keep cautious. You never know when your use will run up. Gotcha. Hmm. 
and uh, then he'll he'll state. But if there's some terrifying alien weapon off to the north, then that's a, I'm afraid is where my use ends. I uh, don't enjoy getting my hands dirty, and honestly, I'm not really good at it. But I've given you all the info that you need to know. I did also manage to get you guys this as well, as you'll probably need it on whatever travel you go into. May it aid you in your journey. Uh, and since since uh, Wolf is right in front of uh, Karis, uh, Wolf will hand um, 200 credits and three healing potions. Ooh, what a babe. Thanks. Appreciate it. I wish Ooh, there she'll was, pocket it. I wish there was more that I could do. But unfortunately, resources are, sadly, a bit thin. And effectively, until things get in order, it's safe to assume that the lamentos are no more while we're still underground. So this is all I can offer you for now. This has been plenty. Thank you, Dean. How long will it take to get to where this weapon is supposed to be? Well, from my understanding... You'll have to cross, you're going to go ahead and have to cross through the silence. There will be uh, four statues uh, that you'll actually be able to see, known as the Four Thrones. Says to have uh, depicted ancient kings of, of a previous civilization. Over here, right next to the Father Mountain, is the ruins of the village. From my understanding, that's where it is, but I would be cautious. There seems like there may be more threats involved than just a uh, alien weapon. And you'll just see Dian kind of like take his hat off and hold it close to his chest. I'm, uh, maybe I'm a bit superstitious, but there is a lot of talk of these lands being cursed. Oh, yeah, they're uber haunted. Hmm. Well, because this is a fallen city with probably fallen people of hundreds of years ago, I'm sure whatever curse this land has may uh, take advantage of the death and destruction within the area. Karis is going to, like, glance at Dash again and just be like, I'm not looking forward to curses. Hopefully, it'll be a non-issue. Can we try to avoid creepy ladies screaming in our face again and aging us 20 years? I mean, can we avoid this? I mean, have you witnessed something like this? I don't want to talk about it. Dian looks and goes, I knew it. I knew it. I said these lands were haunted. No one believed me. Everyone made fun of me. And I fucking oh, yeah, I knew ghosts. it. <laughs> You got a ghost, dude. I knew it. Dan feels proud, but also terrified at the same time. Well, Dan puts his hat back on. Uh, Victor, mm -hmm. give me a wisdom saving throw. Oh. Ooh oh. Damn, he critting today. Yeah, that's my third one. Uh, Victor, you recall of a certain tragic event that has happened within your life a little after you've taken on your second life involved with a certain someone you know what I'm saying I'm trying to give hints without mm -hmm. without saying it flat out and ever since that event I mean because your your family owned land and were probably family. I would probably be <laughs> family uh, would probably um, have been I would, I would almost say Lord's uh, offering protection to some people. Was that fair to say? Like a no, like re, like a noble uh, house almost? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Mm -hmm. So there's, there would probably be um, some villages that have been in your protection. Mm -hmm. uh, you would recognize the name of this one as one of them. And when you, these events transpired, you do recall that the lands were really never the same, whether you cared or otherwise. 
as strange occurrences would then follow up. Almost as, almost as if misfortune had fallen the lands. So this, uh, this all lines up. The curse of your estate kind of goes beyond just your, your manor. Hmm. I think he'd mostly keep it to himself for now. Okay. Maybe kind of just solemnly looking at it. Yeah. So Dan will take a, a, a big deep breath and say, all right, I think that's all we got for now. I hope this helps you out and uh, would greatly help me keep Helvet in order. If there's some sort of haunting that's happening within these lands and the Lamentos are unable to stop it, it may damage our reputation further than it already has been. We're going to take some hits because our resources are extremely thin and minimizing those those hits would be important and the and the family would be thankful for this even if it does serve your own needs for now though and you'll see him uh pull out another burner phone and hand it over to uh hand it over to um to hellebore and say all right, Little Spoon, think you can take care of this? You got it, Derby. It's going to be a while before I call again, if I ever call at all, but just in case, I got a way to contact you. I'm afraid I'm going to be going underground for a while, so I won't be able to return the favor for to have you contact me. But this is the last time we're going to see each other for a while. I'll trust the job gets done. Hopefully. If it doesn't, I'm assuming I'll hear about it. And, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and rebuild. He'll nod. One. No, go on. One last thing. We'll... You almost see as if Wolf's about to walk by, like, cross the bridge to continue off to where he's going. And then you'll say that, Eli. He'll stop and turn over to you. And just silently waits. You and Lou, are you straight with me about weight? What do you mean? You said you didn't know anything, and she told me not to worry. To let it go. I'm not buying it. You weren't the only one betrayed that day, Eli. This goes beyond honor amongst the family, amongst the members. We are interested in finding Wade and taking matters into our own hands. Just felt like you shouldn't be chasing something that we're already taking care of. I will be honest with you though, Eli. This was before the entire family fell apart. I would say from a personal level, not to worry about it, to just let it go. But you got your own path to carve. If vengeance will guide you, so be it. I'm just saying, I've seen good men fall. And no matter what anyone says about you, you are a good man, Eli. You've always been straight with us. And maybe you didn't want to work with us, and I get that. But I know a good man when I see it. And I would like you to keep being that good man. You get me, Eli? There's a, a hardness to his face that very slowly morphs into something else as Ian goes on. Something softer. And at the end, Eli will simply sigh. Appreciate it. He'll, he'll smile, give you a hearty pat on the shoulder, and say, all right then. 
And then he'll just turn around and walk into the fallen stones. All right. Uh, with that, you'll all travel north. You're yeah, I mean, looks like. Yeah. To the four so. thrones! Oh. Away! All yep. right. So you guys will travel over to the north. Um, walking into the silence, the quiet snows, as, as I had uh, mentioned prior. Crossing over to the four thrones. And then uh, uh, finally arriving into the uh, the fallen city, <clears throat> the uh, the fallen city of Hankath. Let me move your tokens over there real quick. Make sure everything is hunky dory and good on this end. It absolutely is. As you arrive over half a day's of travel. Uh, you'll immediately be greeted by the ruinous wasteland of this city. You'll see old, dilapidated houses just stand before you. Probably hidden inside are ancient historical treasures, precious alchemical ingredients from the land, and something far more insidious. And that is where we will wrap up today's session of Destiny. Ah, hey. 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 I'm gonna gather so many herbs. I uh, good. Um, I wasn't expecting an entire session of downtime, but I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Yeah, it was fun. We had I, a lot yeah. of stuff to do. It's nice. You had a lot of stuff to do. You got a lot of good conversations, and yeah, it's great. I, mm -hmm. I, I really, uh, I really enjoyed the session. So I'm glad you guys did too. Uh, let's go ahead and do some bingo bongos and some fart. Does that sound good with you? Woo! Good. Mm -hmm. All right. I'ma do this. I'ma do that. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm seeing. Oh, I'm seeing. I'm witnessing. But Chas not saying. I don't. I mean, I don't see it. I see us. I know, I know what you see. I'm so sad Whoa. that Logan getting de didn't get a pickle tramp stamp. I know, dude. Next time. <laughs> Next time. Um, I mean, I don't. It's it's not the stamp. It's the artist. <laughs> <laughs> he did me good. Uh, the uh, yeah, the pickle religion is definitely something that has uh, passed throughout the lands. Uh, definitely more focused with uh, with goblin worship, but has definitely passed on to other races. My wife well. was goblish. What can I say? Was your was <laughs> was your? I don't know if there's anything you'd like to answer. Is was your wife like a full on goblin, or does your wife have? No, she was just blood? goblish. Oh. She had, there was goblin in her family years yeah, back, but yeah, she, was, yeah. she was a little goblish. Yeah, she just appreciated it. I love yeah. that lore. I love that lore. That's great. Oh, that's so fucking good. All right, on the crossroads. Let's see. Uh, let's see what happened during what everyone thought this bingo would be. Uh, consequences from other campaigns or encounter? Nope. Craft RP? Yarp? Hell yep. yes. Uh, was there a nat one? Not no, today, baby. I don't think there was. No, not a proper one. Uh, repairman Eli on duty? I would say yeah. Got yeah. to go ahead and build yourself that defender. Uh, shipping RP? I don't think there was any ships that sailed today. So I don't think so. I don't mm -mm. think so either, yeah. Uh, Karis fails a wisdom save? No. Eugene scouts ahead? No. Death saving throws? No. Nat 20s? Plenty yep. of that. It, Hell was, yeah. I thought what I sworn there wasn't that one. Not for um, not for any of the roles, but for the like the crafting table. Yeah, uh, for the oh. crafting table. I wouldn't I don't, count. I don't know I, that that counted though. I don't count that as nat one because all that is is referencing a table. Fair. And yeah. it's and it's the DM who rolled it. I think it. I don't know if it means like one of us rolling a nat one. I think I think just a nat one happening in general. Uh -huh. um, but I think when it comes to table references, uh, since a one is not considered a failure for that, I would not count that as a nat one yeah. personally. So, uh, credulous RP. We absolutely got that. Bow wow, bow wow indeed. Pinchy is thirsty for someone's flesh. Uh, no. That someone was an elk. Uh, yeah, you know? That's someone. I mean, okay. yeah. someone was like a someone. Uh, love yourself. This is not a request. Okay. Uh, boss battle, no, but fishing time. Yeah. 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 
Zian oh, dies. No. So close. So close. Uh, Prots discovered the party. No, Logan. Wait, acts. whoa, whoa. Time out. Time mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. Time out. Mm -hmm. Did you not say, and I quote, that that I did say white that. scale dragon I thing did was say a that. Yeah! I did say that. I did say that. That was a boss battle of fishing. I absolutely said oh, that. Oh, hell Let's go yeah. Get a mango, baby. Let's go. There we go. Bingo. Let's go. Bingo. Bingo, baby. How many credits is that worth? That's worth zero. That's worth. Uh, that's worth <laughs> fun. Oh, and Joe, that is some creditless behavior. Yeah, <laughs> that is some absolute sure creditless RP. Absolutely. Uh, Process of the party. No, Logan acts like a madman. No. Nah. I would say no. I would say no. Not today. Not like a normal man today. I would say he reference made some references over at his little inspirational book, but I would I would say no. Very very good behaved Logan today. Uh, the party arrives in Clayberry. Uh, no, but man, really fucked that you put the Florida sign behind that. Really fucked. <laughs> it kind of is the Florida of Kathos. A little bit. A little bit. Uh, talks about the uh, stream. We did. We absolutely did. Mm -hmm. uh, Piper Hellebore switch. Um, there no, was no switch. switch. Today. There was no switch, but there was the message. It's just distant. It's just distant Piper screaming, but that wasn't a switch. Did we have cursed RP? I leave that is up to you guys. Is the pickle cursed? Uh, I don't I, think so. I, I leave that to the party. I uh, did talk. We did talk about Pinchy and eating vomit. That's true. But is that cursed or just normal D and D? I leave that that's up to true. you guys. I, I think it's kind of cursed. My my, uh, I'll check that off. My cursed RP is I look at the party and I go, is it cursed? And if someone's like, oh yeah, then yeah, we did that. The reason I told Pimchi is I'll talk to you about it when you're older is because I didn't want to talk about puke RP. I didn't want to do puke RP. Mm. <laughs> so I'd say that's cursed. That's sufficiently yeah. cursed. Yep. Uh, boat RP, uh, Eli being the group's dad. I would say there was Hell yes. There was absolutely yeah, that. What was I the line you rules. said, Snake? The three rules? That is absolutely being grouped. Yeah, dead. that was no definitely boys, dead. No boys, no tattoos, go to bed by 10. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so good. And then Zeon Corporation, where we did not get, but we did get a bingo bongo, and that is very exciting. How uh, much XP? And, uh, <laughs> no. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Uh, it's time for some fart. Fart, knock, fart, fart, fart. Knock, knock, who's there? Uh, it is uh, Dash wearing a Shane character outfit. Uh, the baby. Yeah, this is uh, Shane's character wear, wears some nice fancy overalls, and there's Dash wearing that as well, holding a lamb for some the reason. The lamb is so angry. Yeah, holding a lamb. Very good. Very it's good. so cute. It is very cute. It's so angry, lamby. The face reminds me of Disco Elysium. It's so weird. Birthday, birthday, it was birthday. our birthday. Yeah, it's it so our good. Birthday. Cute. Dad and <laughs> birthday. So silly. I love it. Birthday. Dwight and Dad Dire good person. Dire, dire, very good person. Absolutely. <laughs> when uh, Pinchy's all nice. about that drama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so no, uh, no, no, no tattoos uh, is what um, was told, but maybe, but maybe in a different universe, this could have been one Whoa. with a tattoo. Ooh. That's a good. That's Who good. knows what Eli has under there? Damn. Ooh, Why is Skag Zag there? Hey. Our little Skag Zag toy. Why is the little Skag Zag there? Well, uh, love... Isn't there a little Skag Zag? Ionians it? love Skag Zag. Yeah. He's a uh, he's, he's a little uh, he's a little squeak toy that you can buy over at Clerk Mart's and uh, oh also the Skagzag Festival. Yo, Yo. that's awesome. Uh, that's really cool. I love this this exchange of different characters' outfits uh, with current characters. It's kind of fucked up when you think about I'm dressed as the dude that I tried to grave rob, but. Mm -hmm. It's it's wholesome otherwise. Uh, this this song is called "The Butcher <laughs> Takes the Wheel."
had to listen to the whole thing. That's that. Hot I was, dang. I was I was vibing to that. So. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Oh Very my gosh. Cool. <laughs> what do we got here? Fine, you've bested me. <laughs> Is that what you wanted to hear? Yes. Is going to cry. Uh, there was a, this is a crossover reference with the, oh, the, no. the mitosis oh, buddy no. taking the, uh, the Piquel face. Very good crossover. Thank you, Silver. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Oh, I'm so glad to see Lamiard again. <laughs> Gonna say the magic yeah. word, princess. You owe me. <laughs> I love it. Yes. <laughs> so good. They're having a bonding session. Oh! I love the little dash oh, smile. That's so cute. <laughs> Checking the book. <laughs> Your presence here should be taught in school. Very good. <laughs> oh my god. It was, you know, it's hard sometimes. Double shields, double shields. Double she shields, baby! Hell yeah. 24 AC. <laughs> Who? Just wait till I get haste. <laughs> 26 AC. Oh my god, I love it. My mouth. I love it. <laughs> Whose teeth are those? They're mine. Hold on. Nice. Oh my god, look at Logan's face. I paw! I paw! <laughs> Junior Fisher! Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh no, amazing. they put the number one dad the shirt on you. Shirt. Yep. <laughs> no. <laughs> I found food. <laughs> Slams that down. Oh my god, pinchy fan art. Let's go. This is disgusting. <laughs> oh, good it's stuff. Little, it's our little boy. It's our little adopted space alien. I'm so glad that pinchy has a token now. Mm. Me too. It's very cute. We seriously do have enough followers to make like a whole ass B team. It's no one that talks and Pinchy, who's like, what am I doing? He here? has to be the leader of the B team. <laughs> we're getting skeletons soon. I was told, checks notes, uh, we're doing a filler episode <laughs> with the B whenever team. Just, whenever we really want to see Brett RP with himself, we send Pinchy off with all the familiars and the robots and we say, yeah, go scout. No. No, absolutely. No, we each we each have to choose one that we yeah. get to play. Yes. <laughs> now, now that I'm behind. I just want to spend a whole session going bow wow. Bow wow. Bow wow. All right. Well, uh, guys, I'll see y'all next week. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much sure. for playing. Have a good one. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you.